I'm gobbling on these nuts, son. My boys. Dude, this campaign was fun last time. Alright. Fuck it. Alright, time to get started. Alright! Wait a minute. Why is it not picking up the game? Give me a mo. The fuck? Oh, there we go. Weird. Not sure what happened there. Alright, we in. We in this bitch. God damn, the game music is loud now. How's the game music compared to my voice? Quiet? Too loud? All good? We're all good? Sound good? Troughs good? DLC good? Hey, boys. What's going on? Quiet? I'm gonna jack myself up a little bit. I jack myself off, uh, off, I mean up. Just a smidge. Can't hear the game at all? Well, there's nothing going on in the game right now. Nice and quiet, you know? Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock that back down. So that when I yell, inevitably, it doesn't, you know, give everybody a brain aneurysm. Pop gobble these nuts? Yeah. Hello, Okoi-chan. I hate that. Hate that accent voice. That's awful. Oh shit! Don't know. Oh well, we'll wait for the donut to roll in. It should be the TTS voice. I'm just gonna double log in. Make sure it's not busted again. Uh. All right. Nope, it's working. Good shit. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> okay, it tried. All right, you tried. You tried, TTS. Mobile Crusader with a $5 dono. I'm gonna gob. Thank you, my dude. I give her the dono. Hey, cuties. Dude, I feel like that Netflix movie ruined the word cuties. You know, every time I hear, like, cutie or cuties, it makes me think of that horrible movie. And I get... <laughs> Get, like PTSD to how outraged I was how outraged everybody was it is wild that that movie got made cringe I know right it is mad cringe out of going how and wise would a bull center would a bull center got you acted a bull center they're pretty cool I don't think it'd be that they don't got me acting up the hobgob was on the other hand as of this on the last stream, got me acting up big time because look, 52 melee attack and 44 melee defense, 47 charge bonus, and also that's amplified as well uh, by the uh, the base damage increase from flanking. Insane missile damage as well that also applies poison, and they apply, dude, they're just so good. 49 speed, I'm hyped to get into a battle. Mino. But what we're probably gonna jump I'm gonna wait for the numbers to jump up a little bit and then I'm gonna jump straight balls deep into the quest battle because I am excited I'm, I'm down to jump in so the plan today the plan is somewhat simple what we're gonna be doing is okay wait let me let me, let me think because I'm trying to remember what we were doing last time oh my god there's a lot of empiric corruption are we, are we dealing with that? Yeah, our chaos corruption is going up. But there's a lot of vampiric corruption. Can we do anything to get rid of that? Uh, control plus two, chance of plague spreading, armaments, recruit rank. What the hell do you build to get rid of chaos corruption? To get rid of corruption with the chaos dwarves? How many hobgoblins do you think an ogre could take in the romantic sense? <laughs> oh god! Angus, you dog. Angus with a five dollar dono. Um, oh god, that's a horrendous question. What do you mean take? Like how many? I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of caution here and, and say that you mean kisses, good old kisses and hugs. You know, adult hugs. I think an ogre could take on at least what four, three or four of hobgoblins in a romantic sense. That is such a fucked question. Why would you ask me that? I know why you'd ask me that. You you, you dirty dog. You nasty boy. I don't quite. What movie was... Thank you for the donut, by the way. <laughs> what movie was the uh, problem with it? Something like Milf Manor? 
Uh, no, it's Cuties was a, a gross. Mo it's basically I don't even want to go into it, dude. It's gross. It's just like a gross movie Netflix made, and it shouldn't have been made. I don't know. Flying Taurus Doomstack win. Ooh, I honestly, I think people are sleeping on the uh, the flying units. I haven't really dug into them all that much. Also, I fucked up. We should have got sneaky last stream, so I'm gonna beeline straight for that. Fated lucky and sneaky. All right, but ooh, yeah, uh, actually. So anyway. Oh wait, god damn it, I keep getting distracted. Spell resistance 25, ooh, 400 barrier hit points. Oh, what is that though? Oh, it's armor. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, fuck it, we'll leave the armor on the other guy. Wait, spell resistance of 400 barrier hit points. Is that better than 5% wall save physical resistance and 5 armor? I don't think it is. Although, although the shield does regen. Hmm. What do you guys think? Mirror shield or the other thing? It would put our spell resistance up to like 55%. Although... At Okoi. Why is Okoi not playing as Zatan the Black to have access to the Tomb of Kengai Khan? Because it only increases their recruitment rank and some other bullshit. It doesn't actually buff their stats at all. Barrier's better? Yeah, the mirror shield's more interesting anyway. Although I could give it to... um To this little guy. Nah. We'll give it to this this guy. This guy. He's on a big bull. He's gonna need the missile resistance with the shield more than um, our other boy. And we'll pass it off to this guy. Good stuff. Alright. Anyway, so... The plan today is... I already explained this on the Discord. To, like, refresh my memory. We're gonna be building up a little bit. We're gonna be doing Drozoath's quest battle with our Hobgoblin Doomstick. Well, I, I would call it a Doomstick. There's multiple units in here, in here, and we still have our unit of Infernal Fire Glyphs. But the plan is going to be do the quest battle, come up and fight Grimgar, rescue Greezus, become friends with the Greezus, butter this guy's, you know, English muffin. He doesn't like us very much right now, but he is at war with Grimgore and a bunch of other uh, ogies. So if we come up here and we beat some ass and maybe give him the Great Hall of Greases back, give him his home back, maybe he'll like us a lot. And then we can broker some peace, some some nice good boy stuff with him. And and by that also, we'll be able to fight Grimgore, which will uh, get us the fighting for friends. Um, quest completed, which will give us 40 diplomatic relation with the Disciples of Hashud, so we can get all buddy-buddy with uh, Astrogoth up here in the north of the Darklands. So that's the plan. A good old quest battle. Uh, some, uh... Uh, and some good old greasy boy help. And we get to fight Grimgore, which I think is the most thematic battle you could possibly do with the Chaos Dwarves. If you don't know, Chaos Dwarves in the lore, they created the Black Orcs, and then the Black Orcs... Uh, revolted against them and uh, killed a whole bunch of dark uh, chaos dwarves. Adequate. Is there an upper limit to unit cap? In the forge limit cap thingy, it shows some numbers. Yeah, so I was actually disappointed by this, but it makes sense and everything. But um, so it, the cost is based on the amount of the unit that you have. So if you have 19 units, it'll cost you. Okay, what do we have? Okay, missile infantry. So, if I put extra powder, for example, on our fire glaives, it would be 16 purchase and 16, and then 8 per unit. So, that we have, I don't know, two of these are 16. We have two ranged units, supposedly, or one, whatever. So, it'd be 8 per turn. So, for every increment, you it costs you more and more. So, if you want to have, say, an end to your army, a doom stacks are actually very difficult to do because you have so many of a single unit type that it starts to get extremely expensive in armaments. So, you need a ton of armaments which means in my videos i'm probably gonna like just give myself like 50k armaments because my god it like for the uh the doom stack that i was working on the video um i could only get enough armaments in the campaign to last me maybe like three turns until i was completely out i met the recruitment cap oh no there's no cap i think you can just keep pushing it up and up and up and up this just on each of these increments unlocks a new uh, upgrade for the manufactory Systems. If you get all the way to the end, you get reload time reduction, 10%, uh, you know, suppressive fire, that's actually great. Um, you know, all that good shit. It just gets you up and up and up. And then it also increases the cap. 
Uh, total miss. Yeah, there's no upper limit though. You can just keep increasing it more and more and more and more and more and more. You can probably get up to like 50, 100, like whatever. Yeah, there's no limit. All right, we're actually, okay. We're, do we do quest battle or do we just go straight up and start killing Grimgore? I'm a little bit worried about old Greasy Boy. He's only got one province left and Grimgore has a, a habit of, you know, completely butt fucking everybody. Right, I think I'm gonna make a judgment call. We're gonna go and take Grimtop at the very least. Maybe the Great Hall of Greasus. Maybe the Maul Gate. We'll give the Great Hall of Greasus over to Greasy. Wait. Oh, he owns this whole. Okay, maybe we just give all these settlements to Greasy Boy. And then that'll allow us to go straight over here and start focusing on Imric. I just want to make sure Greasy is back on his feet. You know what I mean? This is an ogre rescue mission. Greasy may not be good in a fight, but he's a good boy. As are all ogres. Can you attach war machines to iron demons? Uh, you can attach specifically Dreadquake mortars to either the iron demon or the Skullcracker. The other three are solo right now. And I don't know if, if you build the Dreadquake, I don't know if you can like upgrade it or attach something to it, but right now the only way to get them in campaign is oh shit let me get to a tower here um where we at fuck dude here it is so if you upgrade your tank building enough you get like you know skull cracker like iron demons whatever whatever and then at the end look you get oh okay iron demon with a dread quick water a regular dread quick motor by itself which is like 300 cheaper and then also a skull cracker dread quick motor combo so that's all it is right now i think in the future that might change uh, I know that CA are doing stuff behind the scenes He's with the trains and stuff like that, so they might get updated eventually so that you can mix and match and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we'll see. There's nothing, you know, nothing promised, but I'm pretty sure they're working on other stuff with the trains and reworks and stuff like that. All right. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to enter. This. I want to push up and kill Gre Dude, I swear to fuck, if Greasus gets wiped out when we're on our way up there, I'm going to be so mad. Wait, is this town under siege? No. I don't want to witness the, the, the end of the Greasus. That would suck. Uh, no, I don't think it's under siege. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, no. Oh, fuck! Oh, wait. No, this is bad because none of those are ogre related. Okay. We really gotta help now. We just hit an end times event. God damn it. Yes, declare war. Fuck you, Greasus. God, he's at war with everybody. I'm gonna get so much many people to like me by killing Greasus, uh, Grimgore. This is like a guaranteed way to establish your, uh, faction happiness. Some diplomatic standing. Uh, oh, that's so many resources, though. Nah. We're gonna take it. Then at least we can give it away if we need to. I'm like... How do you know if it's under siege? It doesn't say neutral minor settlement. Strength rank 118. Okay, we just got to get over there as fast as possible, right? Rescue the boy! Operation Rescue! Also, I'm not going to build anything in this province because we might just be giving it away anyway. Oh, no. Okay, imagine a full train line of 18 Dreadquake Martyrs attached in uh, to one Iron Demon. Oh my god. That would be hilarious. Somebody will probably be able to mod that, though. But I imagine the physics involved would be just so bad you know what i mean like oh crap greed of asgore finally okay income from cities and a further 10 percent and raw material output so we're going from 1500 and 9100 per turn 9300 okay well it's not that good for income i guess 10 percent is only 10 percent after all little underwhelming i swear to fuck he better not kill my greasy, my greasy steezy. Yeah, I'm gonna push that, build that. Dreadquake Mega Mortar. Campaign movement range minus 25%. Dreadquake upgraded battery all armies. Uh, upgrade army ability, Dreadquake battery to Dreadquake battery upgraded firing additional two projectiles. I kind of wish that the more you upgraded the Mega Mortar, the more provinces that it's spread out over. Like, if you get it to up to level 5, it costs like 10 grand, but you can use it like 3 provinces away and adjacent in any direction. Maybe that doesn't make sense from a lore perspective or whatever, but I would love to see that. Oh, also, we should probably build the Infernal Barracks. No, wait. Uh, I need to build the, uh... Oh shit, where is it? Oh, here it is. Infernal God. 
I'm gonna get rid of the Hobgoblin uh, army building, actually, in this province. We've already got our Hobgoblin army up, and we're just gonna pass it over. Alright. Kualuma! I don't call it Hobgoblin Doom Stack OP or not. I wouldn't call it OP. I would just call it very strong in the same exact way that, um, you know, Skoznik's or uh, Grom's super, super hyper buffed uh, uh, legions of um, ah, goblins are very, now. very strong. Wait, are you going to kill on me? No, I'm not giving you an ag not aggression pact. You're a wall with my boy. You're a wall with my fat boy. Oop. Oh. Okay, it's not a war anymore. That's a good sign. Technology research, total war. The sport, uh, the sport is war, total war. The victory is a massacre. Man, that is very thematic. Weapon strength, all characters. Dude, we gotta go down that route. Ward save five percent for all characters. What is happening? These are such good, uh, fucking good buffs. God damn. Five percent hit points and ten percent weapon strength and flat for every strong. single character. They said it. So the title is clickbait. What do you mean? The Hobgoblin, Kestrel Hobgoblin army is insane. We've got a Hobgoblin army. What do you mean? Clickbait? It's, it's extremely strong. It's like, it's, it is legitimately insane. Look, so the basic infantry are basically up to the stat equivalent of like, at least a tier three unit, like a standard, you know, like whatever. But they also have poison. They have 49 speed. Like, solid leadership, and especially when you take into account uh, their backstabbing trait, malign authority, so when they're near any unit that has uh, contempt, they get an, a plus 8 leadership thing, making them almost unbreakable. They have 25% missile resistance, 10% physical, 10% ward save, and not to mention, uh, once we get the sneaky trait, all of them will get vanguard deployment and stalk. Well, every single one of them, except obviously sneaky gets already have stalk, but um... Like, imagine a full army of Hobgoblin, Wolfrider, Bows, all with Stalk. Uh, crazy good missile damage. They've got a ton of ammunition, flaming attacks. They're actually decent in melee, 124 speed. Like, they are insane. This army is absolutely insane. Okay, let's take... You know what? I'm just gonna snipe them. That's so many Novlaws. Wow. I might even do this fight just for fun. I want to see our gobbos on the field, our hub gobbos. And of course, CA gave anything uh, to traditional dwarfs or yes, any faction me, mean me. units. I am not sure what you mean, my guy. I, th I I appreciate that English is probably your second language, but I I cannot. Is this a waste of time fighting a, just an ungodly amount of noblars? I don't care. Fuck it. I want to. I'm. I want to see these guys just cut through wave after wave of gobbos of noblars. Hobgoblins, Noblaws? Oh, but Noblaws are so cute, man. They're, they're good little guys. They have pan hats. They're, they're friends to the ogres. Lamau, ogres versus chaos dwarves, but actually they're both green skins in disguise. Dude, that's such a good point. All right, good stuff. Wagoose. Uh, what do we do with Gordos? I'm gonna do what I was doing last time, keep him as his own separate unit. And I'm gonna mix the boy in with our rage. Oh no, in with our infantry, that was it. Alright! That is so many fucking Noblas. Wow. Look at their little noses. A little. <laughs> that nose is at least fucking four inches, right guys? Normal chaos, normal dwarves have nothing in this DLC. We hope they get a rework of the- Oh, he was asking if regular dwarves, are they on the same level as chaos dwarves? Do they get any of these units? No, absolutely not. They're completely separate. Uh, they just happen to be the same race, technically. Or they used to be dwarves, and now they became chaos dwarves. Right. Where's Gordos? Oh, I, I put him on the front lights. Thematically, I love this army too. 
I mean, I don't think it makes any sense for Jozoab at all, but it's a lot of fun. Pin him down, pin him down. Wait, aim for, you know what? I'm going to aim for the ogres. Turn him off fire at will and aim for just the ogres. Solid damage. How much armor do the... Uh, okay, their uh, slaughter match has 40 armor. I bet Gordos can absolutely... Dude, he has 495 weapon strength base now. Before we've even activated the buffs. Alright, I have to watch... I have to see how effective Gordos is going to be at taking that guy out. I have a feeling it's going to be insane. I'm going to keep Drozoath overhead too. I have to see this happen. Oh, sheesh, the damage on those ogres. All right, here we go. And hold on, I'm going to slow this down really quick. Uh, Which one is it? There it is. Okay, debuff him. Debuff him. Get all the buffs in. Launch. Come on, Gordos. Hey, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Pin him down, pin him down. Uh, eight, 100 melee attack, 874 weapon strength. Come on, beat the brakes off him. Wait, where are all of our boys? Ow. Oh, they're over here, right. The infantry lines are hit, and they're absolutely chewing the shit out of these guys. Oh, we got hit pretty hard here. I wonder if they have any ranged. Yeah, he's absolutely obliterating him. Not as decisively as I would have hoped, but... Eh. Maybe it's the armor. 52 uh, melee defense is actually pretty goddamn good. I guess it's the iron fist that Slaughter Masters get that gives them that melee defense. Ooh, this is this ought to be really satisfying. Oh, damn, dude! I right, get in there. Good stuff. Get in there. Dude, even... This is the, the thing that's so good as well. Our, even our range guys are tremendously strong in melee. <laughs> They're so good. Like, 42... Like, I, we could have sent one new... Like, just our archers into melee with that whole army, and they would have done probably pretty decent. The only real downside with the, uh, the Hobgoblin stack is they are a little bit squishy. Like, in terms of when they do take damage, they really take damage. Good stuff. Yeah, pretty goddamn strong. Unless I did, like, a bunch of friendly fire. 400 value, 100, 300 value. Goddamn. The real test will be when we actually fight something extremely strong, like in this quest battle. Adokoi, Noblar Genocide equals Okoi, not true Noblar Simp slash Ogre Fan. Don't <laughs> fucking hosh me. I literally came north just to save Greezus. That should tell you everything you need to know. I could have let Greezus just get whole ass killed by, by Grimgore. I am even planning on giving Greezus a bunch of settlements. I'm that much of an Ogre homie. Adokoi, is this the campaign from yesterday? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Same campaign. Same campaign. I had so much fun last time, it made me want to continue. Let's take this. Can I get him? No. Oh, Grisus does not have... Wait, did his shit get rocked? What? He has, like, no army. Wait. Still strength rank 113. Did he confederate someone really far away? No, wait, how many settlements does he have? Three. No, wait, that's three. Yeah, no, three. Where are his other settlements? What? He must have been- Oh, wait, there? Oh my god, damn it, fuck! Okay, maybe this isn't his only settlement. I thought he was getting his his absolute cheeks clapped. He apparently owns a bunch of territory up here. He was, like, faking it. 
Big fake ass bitch. Okay, thoughts on uh, Zatan the Black? Is his campaign fun? I honestly uh, only played him in the last time I tested the uh, the game. Uh, and he was tremendously different. So I actually don't have a lot of experience pl playing uh, Zatan the Black, but I will be playing him on probably the stream after this one. Next, I'll probably just do Zatan, and I'll be aiming to build a giant, uh, a full army made up of, um, you know, lava cannons and skull crackers. I'm thinking of getting, like, at least, like, eight units of skull crackers, uh, and a bunch of, um, a couple of iron demons, probably, maybe, because I'm a little bit underwhelmed with iron demons. I don't think they do enough damage, but, uh, we're get I'm going to be going for a full train army. That should be a lot of fun. Adokai, what was the time like before the changes? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but he initially started... I think it will be fine. Basically, he started off with a um, Iron Demon pulling a Dreadquake Mortar. And Dreadquake Mortars used to be even stronger than they are now. They used to be more accurate, way more accurate, way more damaging. They were insane. They were honestly insane. Um, and a little bit, like, completely broken. Uh, so, because I did his campaign, I, not no joke, I deleted every single other unit from his army, kept the Dreadquake slash Iron Demon, and that's it. And I ran around, I, ki I killed everybody uh, up in the, uh, up north of the wall, I killed everybody. I took every single settlement up there with two units, Zatan and the Iron Demon Dreadquake motor combo. Because Zatan is a great, is a pretty solid melee duelist, so he just beat the brakes off of all the single entities, and then anything that was even... You know, monstrous, troop, like, whatever, would just get obliterated by the Dreadquake. Uh, but I think the, I think he has a Death Shrieker rocket now, and I don't like Death Shrieker rockets that much. But I think that campaign will be a really good way for me to test out the dre the dead Death Shriek uh, in, in, uh, in detail. But from my experience, I don't really like the Dreadquake. Uh, not the Dreadquake, sorry, the Death Shrieker. The Dreadquake's great. Death Shriek is kind of mid, in my opinion. Okay, let's upgrade our boys. Ashen... Dude, si another 600 hit points? Okay, he was meant to have that item. Are they gonna add together? Is he gonna have a thousand barrier hit points? 60% spell resistance. And... A thousand barrier hit points. That's so cool. Hell yeah, I'm glad I stuck with him with for that. I should be able to give um, Drizzo out some spells this time too. And nothing is better than a flying spellcaster in this game. As far as spellcasters go anyway. We're one away from the sneaky boys. Oop. I, I hope they rework the, um, the mercenary mechanic. I've said this so many times. You should be able to recruit man-eaters from mercenary camps, not just bulls. I don't even care if they're really expensive. I don't understand why man-eaters aren't recruitable as mercenaries. It is so sensical. Even if, like, you need the building inside the camp, nearby, like, the nearby camp, whatever the camp is that I'm able to recruit from, that they have nearby, as long as they have, like, a, the, a building that allows you to recruit man-eaters, a building that allows you to recruit iron guts, you should be able to recruit those units as mercenaries. It makes way more sense to be able to recruit mercenaries than uh, man-eaters than anything else, because they're literally mercenaries. That's the entire point of them. Wait, can I get money if I... Did they fix that? Demolish building is for refund 450. Nice. Free 450 and then we can give it over to Greasus. And also, I think these guys are going to attack us. Uh, Tower of Czar. Can we move up to the second level? Ooh, we can. But I'm probably going to... Oh, my God. 225? We need more towers. We, we need more towers. 100%. We need way more uh, intrigue. 26 per turn is pretty good, though. We still own these four that I really need. That's fine. They've started moving up to occupy this bit. The best stuff up here. I'm, I'm wait. Conclave moves this game plus one uh, per turn for factory settlement buildings. Ooh. I don't think we have a lot of factories though. I want this. I want Ordinator. Ordinator is insane. It means if any of your settlements get attacked, you can basically have a free Dreadquake mortar to defend the garrison with. And obviously, that's enough to wipe entire infantry armies off the map. If you do it on a blob, you blob them all up in like a corner camp. I've won some ridiculous siege defenses with that shit. What are your thoughts on this uh, on so far? Okay, worth the extra dollars for this DLC? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I can give like a full uh, review. All I can say is that I am enjoying it currently. But bear in mind, I did get it for free. Also bear in mind, there's only three legendary lords, but the amount of content in it is huge. There's a ton of units, a ton of variation. There's even Kadai. Like it's... 
the amount of content you're getting is pretty huge. But you know, make your own decisions. I can't like don't buy it on my word. I and to re wait for reviews, man. If you're on the fence, wait for reviews to come out because uh, major content creators will release reviews much closer to the release of the DLC. So just you know, you can make you can wait for your decision before the DLC is out. Uh, but there'll be some prop uh, some reviews. Probably Milk and Cookies Total War will release a, a review, I think. Uh, Great Gr Book of Grudges will release a review on it. Yeah, just wait for those. Labor. Uh, yeah. Okay, oh, you marvelous servant of the Great Monkey Chaos Dwarf. How are you, my man? I'm good. I am good. Having a good time with the troops. Clan Verms. As long as I don't drag myself into a military alliance with these dicks, they always get you into so many wars. Oh no, wait, if I give these provinces over, they're gonna have to deal with so much chaos corruption. Dude, we're about to make Grisus fucking fall in love with us. When we give him three settlements, he's gonna- oh my god. Tell you what. Trade settlement. Great Hall of Grisus. Yes. I want a trade agreement. Wait, he only gets plus three with us? How is that the exchange bad for us? Kill. There we go. Gifts given to gold to 40. That's just from one settlement. Wait, what rebellion? What? Oh, imminent rebellion. Ah, oh, shit, because of the vampire corruption? Ah, oh, dicks. Oh, we can get our boy over there at least. Oh, no, we can't, apparently? That one was close enough. Blade Rock is the capital, so that's probably where they'll end up. We don't have a very good garrison. The re the rebellion is going to be... Uh, oh, I can't recruit anything. Uh, yeah. God, we're making so much money, dude. I, I, I'm losing money by... <laughs> by... Um, by not building armies at this point to get me more money faster. Where is it at? Oh, it was this I wanted to build. 7,200. Sheesh! That is expensive. You can eat my balls with this. We are so close. Can I give him Grimtop? Actually. Yeah. I want a military access. Some money. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. 97! Gift given eight plus 80, dude. He's gonna love us. He's seriously gonna love us. Just keep this is how you, you bolster your diplomatic relations with factions you like. Take over settlements you don't give a shit about and then give it to them, and they will love you for it. Adokoi, what do you think would be a cool stop position for a third ogre legendary lord? Okay, so uh I would love to see Gawk Ironskin somewhere in the Darklands, very far over to the left of the Darklands, maybe wedge them in between, like, the Chaos Dwarves and Scar Snake or something like that, and give them a little bit of a Gawk Ironskin. Whatever Gawk Ironskin is, did in the uh, lore, who he fought mostly, like, that that's who they should put him near. I would love to see Gawk Ironskin as a Chaos Dwarf-oriented uh, legendary lore for the Ogre Kingdoms. I'd love to see Golkfag Maneater, who is the what all of the man eaters are named after and he would be able to have a full uh like dedicated man eater doom stack and i think he should come with a massive rework um, for the uh man eater faction uh he should also start somewhere in the empire area because uh basically Goldfag spent a lot of time in the uh in the sort of black crag mountains -y area like in iron rock like this sort of region and then also in the empire that's where all of his lore takes place. He met, um, Gotrick and Felix, I want to say, or, or, uh, shit. Well, who's the leader of the dwarves called? The guy with the, the grudge guy? Thorgrim, Thorgrim. He, he, uh, had some dealings with Thorgrim in the lore. Uh, and also I think he should come with a massive culture variant upgrade for all the man-eaters. So there should be Cathay variants of man-eaters. There should be, um, the, the, the regular man-eaters now should be changed into the Empire variant. Um, uh, there should be, you know, like, uh, all the major cultures, the major cultures, especially human ones, there should be ogre variants of, you know what I mean? Because you can give them unique weapons, unique abilities, debuffs, like, like all this interesting stuff and just flush them out. Uh, e even if they only ended up, what, like, four or five variants 
like a far eastern variant a, like a far western variant like that that would be really cool but yeah he should start over in the empire area way like pretty far away from scrag i think i don't like it like the only thing i didn't i don't like about the chaos trolls right now is that uh they, their stop positions are a little bit squished like you know, like he's at the bottom, thing he's at the top, the other guy's over here. Like there, there's not another chaos drop that starts like on the other side of the map, which I really like. When you want, uh, that being said, you could just pick one of them up and move. So it's not a big deal. You just use a mod to move uh, where they start, and you're good. Yeah, we're fully upgraded. See, we're making bank on raw materials at this point, point. and with our ridiculous economy, I don't even have to rob cafe caravans anymore. I'm still gonna, but I don't have to. All right, let's take over Grimgar's uh, Grease's last settlement here. Slap it on over to the boy. Also, maybe we can leverage it into a into a uh, thing because he probably likes us a lot now. Hey, oh wait, eight improving. This is not the same turn. Why has it not gone up? Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. No, sir, I do not like that one bit. If it's gonna go from eight to one hundred three, shouldn't that have happened over the end turn? I tell you what, take the Maw Gate in exchange for a defensive alliance. Here we go, boys. This is how you get in with the Augers. Now he fucking loves us. 173 positive relation with the Grizzly Boy. And now we've broken a ver a brokered, a very cool and nice. And we can put an outpost in his main province in the region to keep him defended. Probably the Great Hall. Nice. And we'll be able to recruit ogre troops if we need them, which we the probably nozzle. will not, but there you go. And now that'll get him back on his feet, hopefully. I think, oh, there you go. He owns the two provinces up here, but he's probably about to lose them. <laughs> so, well, that's how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to spend once also because he's an ally now. We're replenishing in his province. Win, 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 and another win. So we'll replenish, we'll do the quest battle, and then we'll go kill Emmerich. Nice. But it's quest bad. Oh, wait. Actually, I might just manually run over the Hellshot amulet because we can be building up our province anyway. Uh, it is... How much labor do we have? Not a lot. Wow. Uh, oops. Ooh, boy. Not a whole lot. That's fine. That's fine. It's going to take us some turns to get back there. That's totally fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not even mad. Oh, shit. I was supposed to go and fight. Oh, man. What you gonna do now? Idiot. Wait, Skaven? Why is there a Skaven? Okay, whatever. Actually, I'm gonna rush construction of this. Oh, oh man. Control plus one, control. Okay, that seems pretty worth it. But for 5,400? I wanna get rid of this stupid, stinky ass. How do you get rid of. Hold on. How do you actually get rid of Vampiric Corruption? There's nothing that gives, a, like, untainted. Do I just have to do it? Just make a shit ton of chaos corruption to get rid of it? I'll build the flake tower then. Goddamn. Uh, can I? Nope. Alright. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. Alright. I've never, uh,. Seen uh, vampiric corruption get stuck in a province this bad. Yeah, make chaos corruption instead. Yeah, fair enough. For other factions like that, it's when your corruption gets higher, it'll reduce the others. Yeah, fair enough. High amounts of corruption makes other taps go down, so yeah, more chaos corruption. Yeah, I figured it was like a balancing scale because it always adds up to 100. That's an easy win. Come on. Get, get put in the bin. Free labor. Enslave a bunch of rats. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this, this uh, stinky vampiric corruption. Ooh, it's it's on the up and up. It's just not a lot. All of our capital buildings provide uh, uh, undivided corruption, but it's only one, even if you fully upgrade it. So I really am going to have to build the other thing. How much does Grizzus like us now? Wait, is he coming oh, to attack? No, you do not, you big stinky ogre bitch. Them. Get out of here. That's not your settlement.
<laughs> nice. Buy a seat. You got tons of influence right now. Yeah. I should have enough to snipe the seat that I want now, too. The defensive seat. Well, maybe there's something else we could use more. Because then it'll be less expensive. Yeah, I'll get the demon gog. Demon gog. Demon gog. And then maybe the expounder general. Just for a little bit more influence per turn so we can secure more seats. Until it gets stolen off of us. Long years in exile, master of hell, we are legion. I'm gonna round out these. We are legion and then master of. I did. I'm. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm not a massive fan of Kadai units in general. Wait, this increases the uh, performance of the models as well. Damn. Hmm. Is ansarum I do want to try the infernal. Um, uh, the Infernal Fire Glaives Doomstack, though. It's okay, I'll cry. identifies as an ogre. True. Slap zone head. What? Wait, what happened? What did I do now? There we go, sneaky, good stuff. So everything should have sneak now. Rip or stalk, Lars. whatever. If only they had snipe. Stalk and snipe for a full Mino. army of Hobgoblin Wolfriders would be hilarious. Wait, how is Grizz supposed to defend his territory down here if he's got no armies? Eh, figure it out. He can figure it out. It's faster. That cannot be... Oh, whatever. Uh, all right, we got to get into some consistent fights though cuz wait, how's our replenishment looking? No, oh, I damaged myself in that fight, whatever Oh, dude, even the haunted forest is like completely overrun with a pair of corruption and it's it's getting worse, too What is it the by base? It's not going up though, right? Minus four for other corruption. It's not going up. There's just a lot of it. But it says that my chaos undivided is going down. What's with that? Adokai, can you show Chorf's climate? Uh, pretty much all of the climates are green. Oh, do you mean this one? Suitable climate wasteland? I guess wasteland for them? If that's what you mean? I don't think there's a new climate for Chaos Dwarves, if that's what you mean. Your control is low. Oh, Vampiric Corruption minus nine. Oh, whatever. I'll figure it out. Do we have any heroes that can reduce corruption? Oh, no. no. Oh, one of them will do it. Fuck it. Nice. Time to do the quest battle soon. Can I be rush any of these? 6700. Damn, god damn, they are expensive. Hey, alright, let's set the convoy back up as well. What's the army up to now? We've got a giant now. Cool. And it's got the weird scrap upgrade in the notification. Where do we send them now, guys? I'm gonna send them somewhere I've definitely never sent them. The Wizard Cat Kitaf's Palace. That sounds good. I wonder what we'll get from there. Also, it's a 10 turn <laughs> distance uh, journey. Goddamn. Uh, simple solution. Kill the souls. Kill all vampires. We have. But their stinky vampire, vampire stinky corruption is still here. Unfortunately. God, is Grisus going to recruit anything down here? I feel like he just hasn't bothered recruiting anything. Where is his army? He's still, he's strength rank 122. Is he completely broke? How do you tell if they, how much money they have? God, what if I just give him money? He has five settlements now. He has no armies. He's just not recruiting anything. Take a small gift, a small loan of a million dollars. Recruit some shit. What the hell? 
Weird. He's supposed to be a, 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 uh, a strong dude. Don't, it won't use it, it'll waste it. It's fine. We have plenty of money. What else am I going to do with that much money? Oh, no. Oh, you fucking serious? Grimgor, you stupid bitch. Grimgor, you utter stink man. You waste of human space. You absolute beaver. <laughs> I mean, we can win this. Greasus is gonna be, I mean, Grimgor is gonna be a nightmare to deal with specifically. And maybe his Blackhawks, because he's probably a pretty high level. Yeah, those Blackhawks have got some pretty wild stats. Oh, boy. Um, We've got the Ring of Thorns. That's something. We've got a Vogulf, a Giant, a Feral Mammoth, Infernal Fireglaives, Infernal God, Grave God, some Stinky Gits for the flanks. Oh boy, but he's got trolls, biggins, boar chariots. Interesting. You never see any of them recruiting boar chariots. Uh, let's hope we can get a good defense. See, if this was Cathay, Cathay caravans, because of the um, harmony mechanic, are insane in defenses. Like, as long as the enemy don't bring like a ton of ranged, you can win some unbelievable one, uh, unbelievably one-sided fights. Okoy, Okoy moment incoming. I'll have you know that we might maybe win this. Possibly, potentially. Okoy about to get bent over by a big black ox. Oh god. Ooh, maybe this. A little choke point? There's no trees. There's no trees. Oh god, there's no trees. Maps with no trees are the, will be the death of me, I swear. Maybe we just hide here? Because then I can we can stuff our little army in the middle. This will be in the way of them, hopefully, and then we can choke point them in two directions. I don't really... It's not like we have mobility on our side. I'm gonna stick our, our sneaky gits out there. We'll have an infernal guard frontline, chaos dwarf, and, and then fireglade middle one, uh, line, and we'll put all of our mattress in the middle. Put our boy up front. He's got... Oh, we have flame and shadow! Oh, dude. Okay, that's gonna make this way better. That if we use these effectively, that is, uh, they're basically like mini Dreadquake bombardments. That could be huge. That could be huge. Also, we have fire glaives to deal with trolls. We're not doomed yet, boys. I love one-sided fights like this. Or like good defensive fights, like shit that you can definitely win if you play well. These are the best kind of fights. Uh, I just know that my mana's gonna go out of control immediately, though. They got Doom Divers and shit. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna try and go for those Doom Divers. Plub glabla. They're gonna come from. Oh, nice. They're gonna come from the front. That's good for us. If we can avoid the majority of their crap, get round to the back, take out those Doom Diver catapults with their sneaky gits. Focus down their trolls. Uh, they've got the swamp things as well, I think. The yeah, swamp things. They really knocked it out of the park with the uh, with the with the swamp trolls. I always thought like the model is very good, but then it makes the regular trolls look like crap. You know, they just look so mediocre by comparison. It's the problem with the the the, the new model. You know, the old models aging a little bit badly. It's kind of inevitable, but still. Okay, they're not pushing that side uh, much. Good, good, good. They're taking the bait. Our hobgoblins are on a mission. Wait, do they have our buffs? Uh, any faction wide buffs I think they'll have. 34 melee attack doesn't seem regular. Nice, 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 nice. Good. You're doing your job. Good. God, fire glaze are so cool. Yeah, these guns do sound a little bit like laser rifles, though. That is true. Fire! 
Nice, nice, perfect, perfect. Okay, I don't think Doom Divers are a big issue, but Memussy? Oh, dude, don't remind me of that stupid joke. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Now we just put melee reflection on him. Get him in there. He'll hold him back while we kill him. They just. What was that? Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, they're retreating. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, they have any trolls doing stuff? Yes, they do. They're gonna lose their. Oh, the missiles! Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna push my boys back there. Let's. Uh, giants have good mass, so I'm gonna get my. Oh no, that's not good. And bam. This will come down and attack their night goblins and the black hawks. We'll get our giant through to take out their ranged. Good stuff. All right, our general's routed. Actually, you know what? We need to get rid of him. I'm, I don't want to lose control of my mammoth too, so I'm gonna send the rod wolf back here. Send the guy through here. All right, Grave, Grave God are doing their thing. Let's pull our fire glaze back. Take out those trolls. Use your mass. Use your mass. Use your words! Alright, they're dead. Oh shit, this side's going a little bit roughed up. That's fine, it's mostly... There's some infantry in there. Alright, well that's where our next bombardment is going. I need to bring beef... I need to bring Beefaroni back. Come on, Beefaroni. Come on, come to the light. Come to the light, Beefaroni. How we doing? How we doing? Trolls are dead. Oh Ice. shit, alright, Grave God are fucked. They're definitely crumbling. It's gonna get on their Blackhawks. Come on, Beefaroni. Come back to me, Beefaroni. Oh, that's Grimgor, that's Grimgor, that's Grimgor, that's Grimgor. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, we need to get our giant on them. No, Grimgor is gonna be the real problem, honestly. Okay, is he big enough that we can shoot him with our infantry? That's a big question. If I can shoot him, come on! What the fuck is this? How long does he route for? Is he terrified? What the fuck is the leadership? He's got 55 leadership! Base value 80? Flank exposed? Damage sustained? So he's just leaving now? What's with that? Should he come back? Is there a timer on it? Why is he not coming back? Is that it? He's just gone now? Nice, nice. Okay, we can shoot him. We can shoot him. What the fuck? There, yes! Come on. Nice. Good stuff. What's the range on that? Oh, he's already cast it. Come on, come on. That could be huge for us. Yes, they're bringing their dudes back in. Will you cast the fucking spell? Is it casting? What? Oh. There we go. Ooh. Oh! Okay, good damage. Nice. Okay, Rumbo's getting shot up. Our uh, Chaos Dwarf Warriors are, do are heading this, this off nicely. I think they're trolls. Eh, hey, it's going good. Rumbo is falling for a little bit. This is actually going pretty good. This is a fun seat defense, man. He's a coward. He is a coward. Agreed. Die, Grimgor! Die! Woo! What? <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! I can't believe that just happened! Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? That's how Grimgor dies? Is that lore accurate? I cannot believe that. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> that was incredible. I've never seen a, a dwarf 
I've, I'm blown away. I've never seen that happen. I, I can't believe that. I've never seen a matched animation happen like that. The timing. Please clip that. I didn't have my uh, clipping software running, but I'm saving that replay. <laughs> Holy crap. God damn. We've got to rename this guy fucking Grimgar Slayer. What a beast. What an absolute monster. Wow. <laughs> rename that giant Grimgore Muncher? Yeah, we gotta rename the Grimgore Muncher. <laughs> That's so good. Wow. Good fight. See, this is why... Alright. This is... If I had one message to say to CA about the maps specifically, remake maps more like this. The only reason we were able to win that this decisively and not even lose like a single unit is simply because we had choke points and interesting terrain. Like I could have had artillery on this little thing here and they would have been able to shoot at them as they came in. We could have choke pointed them here. Uh, the, you know what I mean? Inclement terrain. They make for much more interesting battles. Even if it, you know, not just big flat open maps with cool scenery. I want actual interesting maps, right? That was a fucking incredible fight. <laughs> I'm saving that replay. Grimgore munched. Nice. Good stuff. That giant. <laughs> yeah, he fucking just got. <laughs> I can't believe he got eight. Grimgore got eaten. Wow. That was so cinematic. Rip Bozo. What do we call him? We can't just call him Grimgore Eater. We gotta give him a name. Ah, uh, we lost our Grave God. But, uh, they also lost Grimgore. <laughs> so, I'll take that trade. Uh, 1500 is quite a lot. Damn. Grimgore Gobbler? Grim Gobbler? Grim Gobbler. I think Grim Gobbler is a good name. Oh, uh, Conclave Influence, 25, that's not a lot. 150 is not a lot. 100, uh, 2,500. Oh, we're rich on armaments. We're already rich with money. Conclave Influence is probably the most valuable thing we could get right now. Alec begins construction of outposts. Nice. Ah, hey, wait, there it is. Oh, he had a camp here too. God, Greasus' AI is all over the place right now. All right, time for the quest battle, boys. Right after I rename that boy. Grim Gobbler. Grim Gobbler. Wait, Bobbler? Gri Gribby... Grim Gobbler. Grim Gobbler the Giant. What a chad. That actually... <laughs> I get minorly jump scared when he yanks him and picks him up. I like I'm so used to seeing them die in a specific way. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Nice. I said, this is the best possible upgrade you can get. Replenishes in, in foreign territory. So you're just constantly replenishing. All the time. 24-7, just replenishing. Caravan in front of you? Yeah. And we're at war with them. Yeah, actually, that's worth it. I I don't really want to take attrition though, because. We're about to do a quest battle. Ah, uh, we'll just replenish then. There we go. Bad stacks, we're up to 23k. Wait, what did I just get there? Wait, did he get the trade for... Yeah, defeated Grimgore! <laughs> Beefaroni got Hide Striker. 20 armor piercing damage and 10 armor for Beefaroni. Nice. Actually good. I'm gonna stave off on the Kadai thing unless we decide we're gonna be recruiting them because and I'd rather build a 19... Uh, Fire Glaive's army Right now I'm gonna start on this guy's magic Alright, let me round off everything And then we'll do the quest battle Also, what reason? Okay, we got chosen by the The Fauda Medical supplies Oh my boys Whack Ted the Reminds with buffs Can we buy anything to get rid of the corruption now? It's going down Slowly we're already- we're also- we're in positive- I'm gonna rush this. We got more control. Uh. Oh wait, how much labor do we have now? 
Uh, about 300 to spare at the capital. So, we'll rush construction of that. Bam. Infernal barracks. All right, we're good. Wait, why have I got a building icon? Oh, it's from the... Okay. All right. Time for the Drizoeth quest battle. Oh, wait, should we run there? I can't be bothered. We're just gonna... It's 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 500 gold. We're already rich. 75 Conclave influence, the Hellshot Amulet, and 5,000 gold. A Valiant Defeat, you say? Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... Boy, howdy. If we ever needed a, um... Oh, wow. A Hero Titan, a Camryan War Sphinx, a Vargolf, a bunch of Grave God, a uh, uniquely named... Weird. Salvatore Pfeffbeck. He yikes. Okay, this is big. This is a lot of stuff. Grave God, great weapons, Ushabti, a Tomb Scorpion. That Tomb Scorpion is gonna rip our guys apart. Vargeists and Blood Knights. It, can we do this? Not ready, need nukes. I don't think we can get nukes. How about we quick save, we give it a crack. This will be a true test for the Hobgoblin army, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I feel like this might need some siege equipment. Alright, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be an ultimate test for the uh, the Hobgoblins. If we can't do this, then we'll recruit a Fireglaive Noomstack and try again. Goblins are S tier. It's worth a try. It's worth the test. It's worth the try. It's worth the attempt. <laughs> Dude, I can't stop thinking about the fact that fucking uh, Grimgore got eaten by a giant. <laughs> I might upload that as another stream snippet. What do you guys think? Oh, here we go. I will not have these foul undead defile my domain and disrupt production. Annihilate them. I want to see nothing but burnt bones. Yeah, by the way guys, if you don't want spoiling for quest battles, then maybe turn off the stream for a little bit. The Legion of Agarus goes to battle, and any that do not perform shall answer to me. Uh, oh, we get to deploy. Okay. Um, ooh, oh, dude. Can we get up here? That would be such a good choke point. I love choke points. This would be pretty good, too, though. And I'm pretty sure we're just, they're just going to come and attack us, so... Now, we're very fast. If nothing else, our goblins are fast. Wait, I have fucking Vanguard deployment. What am I doing? I have Vanguard deployment. I can just Vanguard deploy everybody. Oh, wait. I'd be leaving my Kessler behind. He has 38 speed. I think that's enough to get there. And also these guys. Oh, 20, 26 speed? Wow! Oh my god, are, are Fireglaives the slowest infantry in the game? 26 speed. That is insanely slow. No, we're just gonna chill here. That's This is fine. I think we'll be fine here. Good little bit of a, a mound here for Archer Fire. I don't even think they have... Uh, I don't even th think they have any melee they can bring. Any range that they can bring. Good line of sight, so they don't have to shoot up and over our boys. Uh, boy, keep our castle in front for that uh, leadership buff. We'll get our skirmish guys out in front, like you do. them in the middle for their their uh, AOE buff thingy. 
Uh, I need to remember to use this cinder blast shell because that ruins monsters infantry. It's great. It's not made for infantry. That's all I can say. But it'll fall. It'll kill about four or five Vaughn guys. I found that out yesterday. Aren't zombies slower? Uh, well, let's check. They've probably got some zombies. Uh, no, those are crypt ghouls. Oh, uh, I think all of their shit's too high tier. They're not gonna have any zombies. Also, I just realized this is definitely not their whole army. I feel like CA are gonna do that bullshit where they come out behind us just to make it extra difficult. So maybe we just like, instead of being here, we push back into these trees a little bit. I feel like they're gonna pull some- Oh shit, I almost abandoned Gordas over in the corner. I know CA. They love putting reinforcements to come in behind you. Fuck it, we'll risk it. Wait, did they, don't then the hunger. Oh, they have the hunger. They don't have the the fire regen one. Salvador, what is that? Oh, oh, oh no! Fire, 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 shoot the Vogulf. Man, this would have been such a good choke point if we could get up there. No, target the Vogeist. Oh, oh, wait, okay, we get Flame and Shadow, that's good. That's for all armies, even if you're not under fence? Okay, good to know. Wait, we have magical attacks, right? Who has magical attacks? Uh, uh for, oh, they're fucked anyway, never mind. Ooh, oh, oh! <laughs> Goodbye, Vogulf! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could beat those Vogulf. Well, hold on. 31 and 37. How much armor do they have? 80. You know what? Get him. Fucking get him. Get him, boys! Woo! Fuck him up! Oh my god! <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yes! Hobgoblin strong! Oh, and we get a Drake Quick battery because we were near our fucking capital! Let's go! Dude. <laughs> Goblin, Hobgoblin supremacy, what was I worried about? Wait, maybe we can get them to gather around Gordas and then just pop the cro the uh, crooked dice for a physical resistance thing and then just bombard the shit out of them. I feel like that might be a good tech. I'll try that. Come on. Be, be stupid. Fall for the fall for this. Come on. Oh no! My undefended lord! What will I do? My hero unit! My valuable hero unit! What kind of- You're fucking idiot. You're stupid. You're so dumb. You're actually so dumb. This should be good. This should be good. And... Oh! <laughs> I even forgot to pop his, uh... Nice. Uh, constructs approach. Constructs approach. Oh, they're really far away. Good. Apparently, I was worried for nothing. Boom. Spicy. My thoughts exactly. And I think we have regen with this guy. Did we give him the regen thing or was that some... No, it was a casting item. I had to give it to the other guy. That was it. Surely they're gonna crumble, right? Ooh, also, I think my... Uh, I don't think my fire glaives can shoot. I'm gonna move up a little smidge. I want my fire glaives to be able to shoot. I don't think they have line of sight. Uglicons wolf plus. We have 50% more ammunition with these guys too, so they've still got 30 ammunition after all that. Ooh, a lot of shit's coming in though. A lot of stuff's coming in. They got Yushabti coming in, they got some carrion. Skeleton Warriors, Tomb God, Yushabti, we got this. Orb Gorblin Supremacy. Oh, is that a Necromancer? What's that Necromancer on? I think if they charge me with those Skeleton Chariots, I might be able to just beat them up in melee. Like, legitimately. Like, ranged aside, I, we would absolutely beat the shit out of those guys if they charged us. Can, I, can we just... can I snipe him out? 
Gordos, get him. Gordos, get him. And... Buff some debuffs, shoot him up a little bit, get in there. Oh, big damage coming in. Get him, Gordos. Get him. Get him on his stinky little cart. Oh, the reach and damage. <laughs> nice. Oh, we can just get fucking bull man on those. Hell yeah. Please tell me that they're gonna fall. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, I'm so dumb. Hold on. Could we just fly him over and drop a, uh, drop a flame and shadow? Oh, the radius is pretty small. Ah, oh, he's getting. Never mind. He's getting bullied by carrion. Well, let me add some regen. Drop them a small present. I do like small presents. Let me let me try and gauge this out. It takes a long time for it to get down, so maybe about. Here. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, we're gonna get a couple of them. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I should have waited, but that's gonna do a lot of damage to a lot of Tomb God. Oh, oh, what are you gonna do? Wait, I wanna melee these you shout see. <laughs> oh hell yeah, dude. I've got with archers beating them. Yeah, pull back, pull back, pull back. He's a Greg. He's a Greg. Yeah, we're not winning that fight super effectively. Where their tomb got? There they are. Carrion don't stand a chance. Wow. Great accuracy there, Zoe. Great shot, bud. 10 out of 10. We're creaming these guys, dude. The Horde Goblin stack is nuts. The Oglacon guys especially are so powerful in melee. The Ranger guys leave a little bit to be desired, but the fact that they have so much ammo... They have decent ma uh, range damage, incredible amounts of ammo because of the buffs. Great range for uh, for, uh, for mobile cav. Oh shit, we gotta move actually. Get daddy here, you shabti. Their AI is bugging out a little bit though. They keep running away, and running back. Yowza. Are they actually wait? They're, what are they doing? Why would you charge me with these? <laughs> they're just gonna die so easily. Man, I love like I think they're charging me because it's ranged cab units, but I don't think they're appreciating how strong the hobgoblins are. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge now! Oh, he's not doing anything. I think the Regiment's Brown inflicts flammable. Yeah, that is tremendously useful. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, they do. They inflict flammable, so an extra 20 damage from the ranged units. Oh, you like casting spells, huh? Did they fake me out? It looked like they pretended to charge me again. Both forces have combined for a last ditch futile attempt. Is it futile if they bring a fucking dragon? A zombie dragon? How's that futile? I think their best units are behind them though. That's fair enough. Ooh. I don't know what the the, the, the weight is. Oh, that might have been a waste. Uh, eh. Yeah, it's not quite a, a Dreadquake motor, but it's it's decent. Oh, 
Oh, shoot the Vogeist. Oh my god, Vogeist are so weak to this. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Wait, what are they doing? No! Spirit Leech? Oh. No, actually, they're, they're not very good at them hitting them at all. 60? Oh, I was looking at the wrong... What? Wait, where the... Where's the Vogeist banner? Oh, that's it. Okay, I think that's a little bit bugged. Oh, goblins the dragon? Yeah, 100%. Afraid of the dragon. What if we nuke out the dragon? Get your spirit leeching ass at Get! You little bean man. Get your brake speed off on your little dragon. We're getting surrounded a little bit now. Oh boy, now. Yeah, oh shit. Those are Blood Knights. Yep. I'm good. Blood Knights. I think I don't want to draw the line. Anti giant, anti large Blood Knights. Blood Knights are some of the well, like one of the few cab units that are uh, I've seen be very effective. Like. Oh, okay. I'm gonna dip out of that fight. A monstrous infantry unit and a dragon lord and a bunch of bats. Light him up. Okay, I'm gonna land. There's no F actually. In with the boys. So they hopefully. No! You wiener boys! Damn it! Alright, they're mostly crumbling now. Line them up, boys. Come on. Alright, Tomes Tomb Scorpion's coming in. Oof, they are doing some good damage to us though. Oh shit, I forgot about the Kimberly Wall Sphinx. Ooh, okay, they got some strong shit in the mix now. Game for the dragon. Game for the dragon. Let's get the boy down there. Up another spell. Uh, shit. Get on the Camry War Sphinx. Okay, the dragon's doomed. Got more stuff coming in. Oh shit, like tons of Tomb God. Oh no! If only we didn't have goblins that were absolutely yoked out of their minds. Ah, uh, what? Effects Lord is a, a Lord or a unit? Oh, it's just a regular Cameron Wall Swings. Okay. Oh, wait, they got a Necrotech right there. Get the Necrotech. Fucking Spirit Leech. Who's low on ammo? Uh, fuck it. Oh, here comes the Hero Titan. Man, you never see units like the Hero Titans, Kimmy and Wallspeaks and stuff. Get in there. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of these effects. Dude, that sc Tomb Scorpion's getting beat. Let's get... Let's get uh, Drizoth out of the way, actually. Our, our range can hit that big old fuck. Sweet. Good fight. Let's go, Koi. You got this. Overconfident? 
What do you mean overconfident? We're doing well. They're going down, dude. The value we're gonna get from this. All right, now we uh, target down the Hero Titan. We'll set, uh, set our boy on the Hero Titan. A range, so right here, we'll stick him on uh, Skirmish. If anything pushes him. That Hero Titan's gonna go down pretty quick. Man, Hero Titans actually don't take as much damage. 10% missile resistance, 115 armor. Maybe that's why. God, they do have some good animations, though. The Necrotech is still alive. Dude, also, <laughs> one of my favorite things, as soon as the enemy retreat, they're going to get hit with the uh, the wolf skin debuff. Oh, wait, well, they're mostly undead, so they're just going to crumble, but still. All right. Ooh. Okay, the slight elevation allowing us to hit their infantry is huge, too. There we go. Last of them are crumbling. The hobo goes have done it. How much value? 89 kills, 1,400 value. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is one hell of a battle. Yeah, this is an awesome quest battle. Very difficult, but it also feels pretty fair. Close victory? I don't know you call that close. Love that firing line. Hey, wait until we have the rank and fire checkerboard formation fire glaive doomstick. Like, that's gonna be real amazing to see. With one infernal castellan in there for theme. I don't care, let's see the stats on the hobgobos. So the trip, the double ones, I won't let me show it because I load too quickly. I'll show you them when we're out of the fight. I wanna see the value they got though. It won't show me. God damn it. So, yeah, 1,000 value, 600 value, 600 value, 1,400 value, 16,000 damage. Crazy, crazy. They weren't even in combat for that long, and every every single one, wait, well, 3,000 value on that unit of fire glaives. So, so, as you can imagine, 19 of them is going to be just absurd. 1,400, 1,300, 1,700 value on all of our range cab. Every single thing that we got go, got well over a thousand value. So I've got three thousand, as you might expect. I will say I'm a little bit underwhelmed with Infernal Castellans, but it might be because we ha I went with the uh, ranged Infernal Castellan instead of the other variant. I also didn't put him in with our ranged unit, so he wasn't targeting large targets like he probably should have. But still, good ass fight. System. Not showing the capital uh, mortar that probably picked up 500 kills. That is true. That is true. It was like a good five or six units of a hundred skeletons in each that got just nuked. Awesome. So this this also means that we're going to be getting our set bonus now. And I think... Wait, what? Oh, the hell shot him. Yeah, there we go. So we, now we have the set bonus. All three items combined is plus five melee attack for all embedded heroes, Infernal Castellans, which is okay, but we only have one of them. But the more important thing is enemy leadership negative five to all armies in uh, the region. Which is obviously very good. Especially when you're fighting, like, undead. I'm gonna fuse some of our crappy stuff as well. Wait, why do I have a potion of foolhardiness? Don't we have way better shit than that? I may as well get the Ring of Thorns. Uh, Full purpled up. Up to the nuts. What did it unequip from us, though? An obsidian lodestone? Yeah, that okay, well we still got 40 spell resistance. I'm gonna blow my obsidian lodestone. Uh I that's gotta be better, right? Or melee defense? All right, that's fine. What does the uh, amulet actually do? I, I, I forgot to check. Uh, wait, per a permanent 20 melee damage reflection and 10 damage resistance. And 5% ward save for the entire army, which again is going to buff the hobgoblins even more. That's going to put them up to 15% ward save, actually. 
Yeah, goddamn. That's amazing. So, uh, these are the Hobgoblin stats. So, very low armor, which was, is what I would say is still their biggest downside, is that when they take damage, they really take goddamn damage. Um, like, good leadership to the point where they're all, like, you know, they've got tier 3 unit leadership, 49 speed, which is just wild. 53 and 45 split attack and defense, uh, 33 weapon strength, um, with a bonus for its infantry of uh, 7. So that puts them up to like, what, 40? When they're fighting against uh, infantry, which is the majority of what they'll be fighting. A ton of charge bonus. They get 30% uh, damage uh, when flanking, when hitting enemies in the flanks. They get a, a leadership debuff, which probably puts them up to the point where they're almost unbreakable. They obviously get a couple, of, they get three shots with their throwing knives too, which also uh, do poison damage. So across the board, 50% wall save, 25% missile, and 10% physical. So they're just very good. Mino. Uh, uh, Okoye needs all the fresh interns. <laughs> Hey, it's part of the faction, dude. I don't agree with it. We should at least give them two gold, you know, so that we don't get called monsters. Killing Fire, which I love. If you know what Killing Fire is, it's probably my favorite um, lore attribute. Uh, of uh, It does damage in a, in a 55 meter radius for five seconds every time you cast a spell. If you're just throwing out cheap casts of Burning Wrath, for what? you like... Fucking three wins of magic, five wins of magic, with the cost reduction. You're just you're just chucking them out, chucking out little little crappy spells here and there. Every single one is doing damage in an AOE, and a 55 meter AOE as well, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's gonna get better. Standard die, eh? Is this passive? Replaces rally, nah. Yeah, it's okay. Ash Storm. Ash Storm is amazing. Ash Storm is very good. If we cast that on like a block of guys that are about to get shot, reduces their speed coming in and reduces their, uh, increases their weakness to fire damage, which in turn How's makes our uh, Goblin Archers do a ton more damage. Also, I'm pretty sure Fire Glaives have fi Yeah. So Fire Glaives have flaming attacks too. Dude, uh, the, we have to make the Dreadquake Doomstack this stream. I know that the title's a little bit misleading, but we've already done, done a lot of Gobbo stuff. We can move Gobbos over to our second uh, Lord. Our, uh, our, our caster down in the uh, south of our territory will pawn them off and just recruit a big old fire glaive doomstack, I think. And then we'll go and kill Imric with it. Shoot down his dragons. Uh, most of the buffs for them come from this guy anyway. I think I already started to give the other guy buffs to... Um... God, we haven't even buffed... Uh... Gore does his abilities yet. He still, he can still get probably up to at least what 70, 74 melee defense. His melee attack up in the sixties. His weapon strength is going to be oh, oh, seven hundred base. God. Based Gore does. Gore does a lot of damage. So, I'm probably going to give all of our Hobgoblin units to Doug Dimazet. We'll probably take on the Immortals for, uh, for a little bit. Get big, give away our entire army, including Gordas, and we'll keep the Infernal Castle in, and then we'll just recruit a nice, healthy, heaping, steaming spoonful of Infernal Fire Glaives. I'm going to push a lot of this, because it is good for money. Also, nine turns, and we could actually get some Destroyers. So, we could have... A destroyers and then uh, I don't know man. Nah, you know what? We're gonna stick with the fire glaives actually. Look at Gordo smiling, he's so happy. I know, I know. I love the uh the jolly old lords they add in. The ones from Nurgle as well. The stinkiest, grossest factions always seem to be the happiest go the most happy go lucky. We've got 18k. Why am I reserving money? I can just be upgrading everything. All right, we've got 5,700 armament saved up as well. So tell you what, I'm just gonna jump the gun and slap up our fire glaives a lot. Cause that's gonna have to go all the way up to 19, a thousand. Oh my God. Okay, I just realized how like, we might not even be able to do a full fire glaives doomstack. Cause that is extremely expensive. 
Oh, we're already up to 12. Uh, 14, I mean. Wait, is that both of them combined? Total missile infantry capacity. Okay, so that's both combined. No, there's 12. Oh, uh, whatever. There's, yeah, there's, we're, well, we're, no, we're past 12. But that includes the blunderbusses. Yeah, so, we're, yeah, alright. We're only, we can only get 12 of them. That's a little, eh. Man, am I gonna have to wait a long time to, to cap these boys up then? Can't do any buffs yet. Hmm. That's fine. Time for Kadai. Got him, Lamau. Dude, we had like seven grand saved up, and it's still not enough. A five grand saved up. 5k armaments. It's still not even enough. Gotta get your laborers boosted. I mean, <laughs> how good would laborers be now? We've got quite a few buffs for them. Destroy Feral, feral Mammoth and get a 10 turn buff. No, that's so dumb. They need to rebalance that. They keep taking away your best units. That's almost never, ever, ever, ever going to be worth it. Ever. Oh, no. Need more labor. Way more labor. I need to kill more people. Crap. Do we just... Oh, my God. We might have to just keep doing fights. Because it's going to take me multiple turns to put this anywhere past 12. I don't think 12 constitutes a doomstick. 12 out of 20, and then we keep some of the goblins, maybe? I don't know, man. Oh, fuck, I forgot to move. Oh, god damn it. Just get cheat engine and hack, dummy. I mean, I could use a console commands, but I'll, that's what I usually do for, um... Or impossible to create doom stacks or doom stacks where I would have to have a 250 turn campaign in order to test to see if they're good that's Grimgor isn't it for fuck's sake I just gave you your settlements back is this guy even capable of holding on to his settlements I feel like Grisus is just getting bullied like they're just taking all of this crap he has like a camp he's not recruiting anything and he's just getting killed by greenskins Drazo. This was. Yeah, dingus. You fucking dingus. Alright, we'll swap all these over. Oh, god damn it. Uh. Yeah. Actually, I don't need a lot of these, too. This one. All right, Doug Dimazad, owner of the um. Wait, I can recruit another goblin here. Goblin here. Wait, shit, do I have one I can trade over? No. Oh man. Oh wait, I could have kept one of the five glaze. God, I'm stupid. A doy, a fucking doy. Oh man. I have to recruit a, another goblin unit thing. Okay, well, I'm just going to delete these guys for now. They're taking up slots. We don't need them. Oh, this stupid, stupid corruption, though. Uh, where if we just got one unit <laughs> of ogres? So, the Orc Laborers are very hot to buff. I really don't think there's you could make a doomsday out of them. They don't give you enough tools to do anything to buff them. Like, I don't think it would work. Oh, fuck it. We'll give them a, we'll give them a Hatcher Stock Ravages and mesh them in with the uh, Skirmish Boys. No, oh. shit. Oh, this province is dealing with a ton of plague corruption, too. Yeah, you really actually do rely on signal fires a lot more with um, the Chaos Dwarfs. They do not have a lot of stuff that's good for getting rid of um, corruption. Very unbased. 
Can I help my cap? Did they steal some of my shit? Yeah, they did. Son of a bitch. Wait, do we get a, have we been getting followers this whole time and I just haven't been uh, putting them on anything? I kind of want this. Oh, he took it. Four turns? Whatever. Wait, do I have a bunch of followers I could that equip them? Grown up, oh my god, there's so many. Devoted to Hashut. Wait, Chaos, Undivided Corruption. Oh, well, that's not going to matter here. I'll give that to this guy then. Devoted to Hashut. Chaos, Corruption in the local province. The need a high scene. That's so useless, dude. What? In casualties captured post battle, 10%. Is that for the Lord's army? I can never tell with these. Hellbound assigned war machine unit. Also useless. We're not getting war machines in this campaign. Uh. Alright, we're good. This army's still pretty strong with him, but we definitely need to uh, level up Doug Dimazad to get over to here to be able to take advantage of his goblins enough. Actually, no, no movement range can transfer units. All right, next turn. Ugh. All right. The DLC just released, and I still can't wait for the Hobgoblin Khan. I want my green hunts. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed that he, they didn't include him either, you know? That's right. Oh, God, yeah, he likes us because we got the 40 ruler tolerance thing now, right? Nice. Nice. I would have taken a, a Hobgoblin Khan legendary lord because he could have given even more buffs to Hobgoblins and made them like otherworldly good. Imagine a Hobgoblin Khan like lord that, that is just like it doesn't have a lot of the same mechanics as the Chaos Dwarves but is like you know, allied with them and shit. Maybe you even start off as a vassal to Zatan the Black or something cool like that. I thought they could have done something like that. Uh, uh, oh, dude. Based. Awesome. All provinces. Hey! How we doing now? That's gotta be making a dramatic difference. 10 plus 4 plus 3. Come on. All right, time to hop over. Yeah. That's gonna be gone by next turn. Damn it! We gotta defend our boys. I don't think I have anything to do with the second army, so we might as well give them some level ups by fighting. Dug Dimazad. Owner of the Dugsdale Dimma Fortress. Oh, I should be maybe banking money so I can recruit a ton of fire glaives already. And we'll figure it out. Well, CA was very busy thinking of wildly cool faction mechanics like plus 10 research or minus 10 armor costs. <laughs> oh man. Stop throwing shade. Join war against Heralds of Tempest and Dolgan. Um. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. I don't think that's going to be much of a threat to us. Oh, here it comes. I knew it. I knew it, you stupid. I'm not going to grab Paul Greasus into this. That's the last thing he needs. Okay, Imric. Okay. You big bug-eyed wiener boy. When when Zetan the Boring's plus one caravan is the most exciting faction effect, you know you've done something very wrong. Eh. I mean... I don't think so. Wait, avoid the battle and increase journey time or fight. Is that seriously the battle? What? That's so easy. How is that even a fight? What? One unit of man eaters and some other shit? Wait, what breaks all the time? Oh, okay, this is Vagov has poor leadership. Dude, easy. What? All right, time to recruit some fire glaives. They're probably gonna take Ruin's End. This is absurd. I don't think we have a good enough garrison in Ruin's End to, to deal with that. Maybe I could, I'll, you know, we've got enough money. I'll recruit another guy. Maybe an overseer. Considered a diplomatic plus 
Diplomatic relations plus five with all factions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, him. Yes, you. Fuck it. Lamateric. Can I give him some regiments? Nope. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to recruit anything before we get attacked. Just give me a whole mess of goblins, if you can. There's, they're going to attack me before I can recruit them, though. No doubt in my mind. Fuck it. This is, I'm not going to waste the money. Alright, mass production, global recruitment, time duration minus one. After four turns, that should still be helping us recruit a bunch of our boys. And... Oh, shit, I don't have very training yet. Oh, no, I don't have blood... Oh, wait. Yeah, I just need these. I need very training, call to war, and hollow grounds for my boys. Four turns... Uh, yeah, that's fine. What the All right! We're getting there. Demon's Tongue, Drake Quick, Motor Combo, Ice Force Legion, and this thingy of Damnation. That might be some good units to recruit as well. Wait, do we not have the building yet? What? Can I can I move some stuff over? Why can't I rush that? 270 labor. Do we really not have 270 labor in the capital? What? I have 600 labor. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, Desolation of Asgore, right? No, wait, what is this province? The Howling Wastes. Ah. Uh, 880, okay. Alright, fair enough, game. Uh, yeah. Damn. Uh, where are they at? There we go. Yeah, we got a bunch. Uh, what's the global recruitment? Four turns? For 1,600 apiece. That is not cool. Six. At the one. There we go. Two t four turns, and we got a bunch of them. And then maybe, uh, do you think we could get six destroyers in relatively reasonably quick fashion, kind of? Kuz. Let's go get Doug Dimazad some levels up. Well, good boy's definitely gonna get killed. There's gonna be four turns before we can even get down there. Higbotter doesn't have a garrison. Although, our goblins are getting some buffs. Just not that good buffs. Add blunderbusses? No, blunderbusses use the same uh, caps. So look, uh, I, I, I don't know. No, they don't. They're separate. But meh. I want to go mostly fire glaives. Yeah, I, want, I just want fire glaives, dude. I, okay, we're recruiting them with the triple uh, triple bronze rank. We have we are legion bonus versus infantry. The upkeep is what is their upkeep up to? 188 for a unit of uh, fire glyphs. Like, bear in mind, that starts off at like, what? Um, 350 or something like that? I don't quite. A full army of fire glyphs, blunderbusses, and artillery. Glass your enemies. Hmm. I do like the sound of that. Let's just focus on increasing the cap. Bam. Trickle that cap up. There we go. 15 out of 20. That's not too many. That's just a lot of armaments. We're gonna have to swap some of our shit into, um... Let's swap some of our crap around. I think we're creating too much labor at this point. We don't actually need that all that much. So maybe we change some places into factories. So, like... Noblar Country... Is this two... Bro, two location province? No, this is Noblar Country. So maybe we change some of this shit into factories. Yeah... I'm gonna change these two into factories. Uh, money. And I'm also gonna swap this into an armaments building. Oh, we need more labor. Armaments 150 per turn. Oh shit! Nice. Wait, but that need it, that means that I'm gonna need to. God damn it! I'm gonna need to funnel. Uh, no, it doesn't require labor. It only requires raw materials. When you have 180 raw materials. Hmm. Okay. 1350. Alright, we'll do that next turn then. 
Disease, All right, sir. time to do a, a siege defense with good boy and probably watch this man die horrendously. Did they take another one of fuck off? God, I hate this guy. No, I'm taking that back. Four turns from now? Dude, they keep stealing all my... Wait, no, that's the wrong... No, that's it. No, he definitely took that off us. You piece of shit, Satan. You utter piece of shit. And he took this off of us. I want this back. Armaments 25 per turn, 5% armaments faction-wide. Give me that back. Income from settlement buildings. They better not take that. And raw materials. I don't need that. So, I need this back. Taking away my diplomatic relations with chaos factions? How dare you? Satan the backstabber. Ooh, okay. Which one of these do you think we should go with? Probably extra powder. That seems like a no-brainer. Once we've got our, our stacks up to 20 or 19 or whatever the fuck, I say we go extra powder, get the big damage, and then probably reload time reduction, and maybe if we can afford it, suppressive fire as well. But 19 units of these guys, it's going to cost us hundreds of, of armaments per turn. But we're up to 400 a turn, so we shouldn't be too bad. Plus the 150 from that building down south. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait, he leveled up. Uh, this, I guess. Extra reload, strong magic ammo too. Yeah. I wonder if, if a magical, oh, valiant defeat. Wait, valiant defeat. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this. Because we have the Dreadquake Mortar Defense thing, still. Oh no, we don't have the Dreadquake Mortar Defense, we have the other one. Wait, do, is this close enough to our Dreadquake Mortar, like, province? Or is it... It's one province away, I think. So we might get the Dreadquake Bombardment Defensive thing as well. Suppressive Fire is the best upgrade. Yeah, that is good, that is also really, very good. Uh... Yes, we do! Yes, Dreadquake Battery! That is actually a much better building than I thought it would be. Uh, trees, 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 trees. Uh, these ones, I guess. Like a little bit of rock in the way. Here, maybe. And distract them a little bit. I want to bottleneck them into like a, a, a choke point. Oh that, my god, that music is loud. Okay, it's been a hot minute since we've seen laborers too. We can't let good boy die. Uh, I stand by the tree camping tactic. I stand by it. If nothing else, it's a vessel for us to be able to cast our, our crap out. Wait, are they just gonna camp? So you're just gonna camp in an attack? What is that? Wait, are they seriously gonna camp? Didn't they attack me? What the fuck is this? What is this strategy? That's kind of not cool. We also have Flame and Shadow. So Flame and Shadow combined with the Drake Cake battery. What, son? Well, I have a three Get AI. The yeah, they're very passive. Fill us with that e. Stop it, high elves! You're being yes, cringe. How's Angus gets? Boys, Angit. Hop goblin attack. This was boys. Drangi boys. Can I just sit? What if I sit like here? Are they gonna turn and shoot me? Yeah, they are. God damn it. Ugh. What the hell are they doing camping? Are they moving finally? Nope. Nope. No, they are not. What's the missile block chance of spear, guys? 55%? Fuck that. I'm not wasting my ammo. Come on, guys. Uh, I think their AI might have bugged out. They're really playing super defensive in an attack situation. Oh, crap. 
Huh. Shoot their archers? I mean, I'm trying. Bro fell asleep. Yeah, the AI guy went to take a piss. Fire. Eat my balls, game. What if we just like get around to the back of them and start shooting those eagles? Can we do anything to get to like pull them out of this? Can I just waste their ammo in the trees? <laughs> That's pretty good damage. They're not even shooting me. Yeah, I think the AI might be a little bit bugged. I don't want to waste my Dread Quake motors too. Wait, they have eagle bolt claws. Maybe it's the bolt throws that are making them defensive. I'll just kill the bolt throws. No, don't shoot up and over. Shoot directly at them. There we go. Couple more volleys. Sometimes the AI, uh, their artillery, they just sit there and use it as a uh, little bit of a crutch. Uh, and they don't attack you until they- ah! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! God damn it. You big stupid babies. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Now they're moving. I think. Did that work? Well, we cost us our, uh, our boys. I think they might be moving, though. I got them back. I gotta go check. Yeah, look. There, there they go. And if <laughs> the sight of eagles just broke them. Yeah, there we go. Good shit. Good stuff. Good shoot. Oh, you moron. What is this? What is the AI doing? Oh, no. That's a good idea. They're going to jump right down on my melee, my archers. Nope, never mind. They're attacking my hobgoblins. All right. But do they still have their uh, artillery? Or did they break? Because that's a big question. I might be able to sneak around and get to their artillery. Oh my god, are we really breaking again? Eat my balls with that leadership. Come on. There's 36 of you left and you got shot by thousands of- No! That's gonna be the end. They're gone. God damn it! Whatever. It's not like the artillery is gonna be able to do too much damage. I feel, I feel like we've got this, actually. Skip a little bit. Let's just wait a second. Ooh, okay, if that, it's not... Oh! Oh, you fucking morons! That's so good for me! Oh! Oh! Beautiful! Yes! Wow! Nice! That's a lot of dead knife ears. You dinguses. You foolish dinguses. Now we can clap back. Cause fuck it. And that'll allow us our range to push up and kill their ranged. Despite their enormous ranged advantage. There we go. You hit there. Do the this thingy as well, maybe on them. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. They're just pushing. Why are they pushing into melee? Oh god damn it. Eat a fat one, eat a fat one, eat a fat one. Oh, that's a great evil. Push our archers back, go. 
Wind blast is not cool for us. Oh, we've almost got uh, Dread Quake again. Kill the eagle. Uh, Dread Quake. Let's see about here. Wow, that just that hit everywhere but where I wanted it to. Ooh, God, that spellcaster is a pain in the ass. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Smack her up. Beat the brakes off her. Are there goblins around? Get her, get her, get her, get her. 21 seconds, we can use the rest of our stuff. Our infantry's not doing super great, but that's okay. And we won anyway. So infantry is terrible at chasing down ranged. I think ranged is better at taking out stuff while it flees. No way we're catching her. Good fight. Hell yeah. Very decisive. That's what I'm talking about. Dreadquake battery and flame and shadow will win you fights. And also the fact that we routed... Oh, no. Okay, we didn't route their artillery, but they routed in the end anyway. Good stuff. That'll give us plenty of time to recruit, and we just devastated them. Also, I think they need to add a little thing here that shows, like, damage done by spells or something like that, or a menu that you can hover over, so I can see how much, uh, how many kills I've got with uh, Dreadquake motors, army abilities, uh, like, Ickit's, dread, uh, Ickit's nukes. I would love to see how many kills I've gotten with Ickit's nukes before. You can calculate it based on the amount of kills your guys have got versus the amount of casualties they took, but, like, there should be a, th a convenient thing that tells you how much damage it did. Like, I'm pretty sure in, I've gotten, like, in some fights, 3,000, 4,000 kills in a single, uh, you know, nuke. I don't know, how do you make a curved path? A curved path? Like, when I draw a line to make them run around, or you can you hold left shift and right click on, and, like, right click to, like, draw a pathway for them. Destroy Infernal God or fight a battle. Can I auto-resolve this? Pyrrhic victory. Oh, they've got two hell cannons and a bunch of dragon ogres and shit. All right. These fights are getting hard, man. These are rough. I like how the balance of power shift was massive after that first dreadquake. I know, that's so satisfying to see. Like, you're going to lose. You're going to lose, man. You're about to lose. Okay, you might win. <laughs> like, just the 180 completely. Oh, they're... Oh, God. Two fucking... Oh my god, this is possibly the worst map we could have gotten to deal with uh, to deal with those hell cannons. They're gonna rip us apart. Uh, we have... Yeah, okay, we have Vanguard deploying with our Hobgobos. So, deploy really far back. As far back as it'll let us. Put everything in line formations. Put our single entities out front. Our lord. All right. Oh, the, god damn it! They spawned over there. They're not doing anything with the hell cannons right now. Oh, they got chaos knights with lances. Chaos knights with lances are way cooler since they resized the sides of the horses. They actually look legitimately awesome now. I, I did a full 180 on on chaos knights when they uh, you know, when they redid them, when they remade those horses. Like, Chosen are okay, they've always been cool, like, whatever, whatever, but... But, yeah. Chaos Knights did a full 180 for me. They, they are pretty bitchin' now. Large boys, big horses. <laughs> Chad Hanses. <laughs> Large Hanses. Large, powerful Hanses. Get those Hell Cannons. Once again, the AI is doing weird shit and not moving their Hell Cannons or engaging at all. I mean, I'll take it, but that is strange. You can get into a better position, actually. Uh... Alright, good stuff. 
Go, Horb Goblins. Go, go, go. They're moving up. Please. I should have spawned them on the other side. How was I supposed to know? 35 speed. Go, 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 go. You got this, boys. Nice. They're almost in range with the Dragon Ogres. I'm going to turn these guys to keep our boys protected with their expert charge defense. Uh, oh, shit. I put... Oh, man. I did that wrong. Oh, well. Come on, they're in range, right? There, right there, right there. Shoot him. Shoot at him. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Good stuff. That's... Wow, that's a very underwhelming damage, actually. Are they all firing? Are they firing all the way to the back? Yeah, they're firing all the way to the back. Here they come! Brace! God damn, that is super not good damage. That is legitimately underwhelming. Hmm. I wonder what's going on there. I expected that to be much better than it is. I'm holding down the flanks. Why are we obstructed? We're really obstructed because there's nothing there. Nice. We're wrapping up their uh, hell cannons. Both of them are destroyed. Okay, they're chewing through them slowly. Light him up! Hell yeah. Man, maybe we can come and pick up their uh their castle and eat him with a with a with Grim Gobbler. I'll try that out. I'm legitimately wanna see if we can do that. <laughs> Oh, wait, we have, um... Ooh, that's gonna be close, but we'll do it. I might be about to fuck up my Infernal God. Uh, no, we did a good job of missing him. Yeah, yeah, they are chewing through our infantry pretty good. On to the Chaos Lord, boy. Oh shit, the, okay, our Vogel's getting chewed up. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. We've lost the Vogel. God damn it, they suck. You can't even take out a fucking Chaos Lord. Ooh, I feel like that engagement's gonna go badly. Oh man, okay, well they're through our lines. That's not great. It, oh, God damn, Chaos? Okay, the Chosen with Great Weapons were actually a lot to deal with. 30% extra damage from Hobgoblins hitting in the flanks though, which is gonna be great. A little worried about everything else though. Come on, eat him, giant! Eat him for breakfast. Alright, we're taking out the uh, Chaos Lance guys. Let's just firing squad the shit out of this Chaos Lord. Got the dragon over. Oh, actually, hit the calf. Hit the calf! Our mammoths making quick work of the chill. Well, not quick work. We're doing alright behind your gobbos. We're doing okay. We're squeezing by. Oh, he's trying to run. Well, he's never going to get him in a, in a chase down. Right, you know what? We can, we can really wipe him out here, I think. I don't think it's going to matter, though. I think this is one of those randomly generated zombies. Bonk him. <laughs> Bonk. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't shoot him. Oh, 
Come on, giant. Pick him up and eat him. There's no way we're going to be able to replicate this. He's just going to bonk him. Rip him in half. Or not even that. Yeah. For free? Oh, well. Good fight. We lost the Vaugeist, but we'll gain something else at the end of this trip. And the Vaugeist, if I'm gonna be real, kind of sucked dick. I was a little bit, like, weak as hell. Giant foot content. Giant feet gaming. Yeah, those Chosen did way better than everything else. Anti, uh, like, armor piercing. Anti-infantry. Are they anti-infantry? No, the they're, they're great weapon ones are... Just super damaging and armor piercing. Israel. Only clubs? <laughs> Only clubs? Three turns, and we've got our Infernal God Doomstick. Also, we're able to put the cap up once every two turns now, which is amazing. Because I can just slap these guys onto the recruitment cycle of oh, five turns now. Ugh. Whatever game. I might just might as well just wait and then build a bunch of them all at once. Nice armament squeeze. Rush that. Four fifty. Uh, no, nah, there's no way. We need way more slaves. I mean, labor. Oh, shit. What? No, when did this happen? What the f- Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh my god, because of the fucking end times event? Because I hate that the end times event makes them declare war on everybody. Like, I get it. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, that sucks so much, stupid dick. Oh, damn it, man. I'll keep Chaos Dwarf stuff. We'll just give this guy the Chaos Dwarf stuff and then maybe give him all the leftover crap, like Infernal God and Chaos Warriors. Game forgot to tell you. God. That sucks. Oh, oh my God. And the province rebuild? Where did this guy come from? Where did Clan Rictus come from? What the fuck? Why do they have Elbit Abominations? What's happening? I'm not even at war with them. When did that happen? Rictus were killed, right? No? I guess not. They own Black Iron Mine, unless that's not them. I am so confused. I thought we killed them. Oh, fucking Skarsnick, dude. He's got... Are you serious? Arachnorok Spiders, Savage Orc Biggins, Doom Diver Catapults. How the hell am I supposed to guard that with my shitty garrisons? Oh, quite the scenario. I know it's the end game scenario, but fuck. That's why I said, like, I know it makes them automatically declare war on you. The game brings back dead factions. Oh, okay. I did not. Oh, yeah, you're right. No. Oh! No! Oh, dude, I hate that, actually. That, I really don't like that at all. The fact that it brings back dead factions. That's such a pain in the ass. Are you serious? Uh, worst mechanic ever. That sucks, big old steamers, man. I am not a fan. That's a no from me. It's all ogre now. That is such bogus, dumb, dingus, idiot stuff. Anu. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait so many turns before I can. Uh, I'm gonna lose my fucking towns. Oh, there goes my fucking workload. And the high quality assembly line, probably, in Crookback Mountain, because it's right there, which means all of our armaments are gone. Fuck! Wait. Lord of Metal, Cruel, Aggressive. Fuck it. Oh, uh, yeah, no, okay, cool. A little bit late now. 
My nuts or did it just not tell me that that was gonna happen? Seven turns and so they should reduce the uh the cooldown timer for recruiting those guys too. Hey, we got a great Taurus for our boy. Nice. And maxed out cargo capacity. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the ambush thing too. He's on Wolfram! Wait, did we get an item yet? He's down over in the area that he should be. Has it been ten turns already? Three more turns. Okay. Oh, what turn are you on? I am on turn 51, but I turned I put the end timers down super low so they would happen But I was I've completely blanked the fact That they you know they respawns all the factions with a tier 3 setup army of Varying end game units and they're automatically at war with you and right next to a town You probably have a terrible garrison for very fun game Very cool CA All right, let's see how this goes. God damn it. We were, I had such good goals too. And now the game is just slapping my nuts. Classic over destroying moments. Ah, uh, <laughs> wait, no. What the fuck is this? Oh my God, it's the end times event. Dude, all right, next stream I'm turning off end times. I'm turning off end times. God damn it. There's no way we can win that. Bone Giant, Tomb Scorpion, three Necro Sphinxes, three double silver Necro Sphinxes. Casket of Souls, Screaming Skull Cat, fucking oh, goddamn it. Oh! Oh, dude. That sucks ass. He was so. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Oh, I regret putting it on so much. Oh, I hate it. Helmet is back, baby. Dude, that, I hate it. I am never putting on end time events ever again. <laughs> I don't even do long haul I campaigns. I put them on for Ask flavor. Because these are obviously temporary streams that I just do on the, on the, uh, on the live stream. Cam temporary campaigns I just do on the live streams. This is just, this is balls. This is complete balls. I'm gonna get rid of good boy actually just to save my wallet. Because I just lost a bunch of fucking money. Oh wait, Skostik's running away a little bit. That's good for us. Wait, are they sieging us? No, they're not. No, he's, he's just raiding. Oh, it's Tretch. Oh my God, it's Tretch, but he has like a fucking help and abomination and doom wheels and shit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We, can, we got this, we got this, we got this. Um, Anti-infantry ogres. Bunch of goblins. Uh, oh boy. This is just not, but this is not crisp at all. This is not a cool guy move. This is unbased and red, very stinky pilled. You know what? I'm gonna underway stance even though I know I shouldn't just so I don't take attrition and... Okay, we didn't get interrupted. Oh, I'm gonna butter this guy's shit so hard. Three units of can race, grave guard, two terror geists, two vargulfs, two vargeists, corpse cots. Oh, it's gonna be a rough one. It's gonna be a good test for our slightly weaker but still ridiculous hobgobble army. That's for sure. All right, only two more turns until we get our five glitches at least. Can I at least put the cap up yet? Yeah, no. Oh, I just gotta keep ending turns. What else do we do? I'm on 34k. Can I peace out with them? This action does not have all cause consent. Dude, I am a hundred thousand percent turning off the uh, end turns events next stream. Satan's gonna have no ultimate crisis. Ultimate crisis is legend difficulty. Uh, nobody else could. Oh! <laughs> Go away. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this. Fuck it. I'm gonna play this. I wanna see if there's trees, there's a way. And also we have a triple garrison. So is this a settlement battle? No, it's not. How the fuck do you get minor settlement battles? This is a tier three settlement with a tier three upgraded garrison building. How is this not? How is this not a settlement building? A settlement fight? Are they bugged? Why did they even bother putting in a, a chaos dwarves fucking? 
You have to have the wall structure? I do have the wall structure! It's a tier 3 settlement and a tier... The fuck is this? The tier 3 settlement and a tier 3, uh... Thingy. Fuck, I'm gonna camp in this little hole here. I did it correct, I swear it. I swear it. I'm telling you. Alright. Wait, do they have they have artillery that are just gonna shoot? Yep, they have artillery, god damn it. Oh, oh no. Wait. Okay, well I'm just gonna Hmm. Oh, most of what they have is pretty slow. I don't think they have any skirmish troops. So what if we just yeah. Where are you going? Alright, let's get into position. Stack the boys in the corner. Put your goblins in. I'll eat my dick with that invisible wall, actually. Uh, something like that. Or goblins behind. And then we'll just shoot the crap out of their, um, their fellas. We'll go and jump on their artillery in a sec and get their Doomdiver catapults. Shoot the crap out of the Ragnarok spiders and maybe with their Savage Orcs and stuff, they won't shoot through our infantry fast enough. You doomed, divers. You doomed, Doom divers. Why did Oakwalk turn into Rocky for a second? Uh, I mean, I feel like Rocky getting my ass kicked. And I'm like... I didn't hear no bell, Greenskins. Why, why don't they make him sound like... <laughs> is that Goblin? That's Hobgoblin Rocky. Eww. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> why? I keep putting the grumbly New York accent on. What does Rocky sound like? Eh. Eh. He sounds kind of like... He's, he's, he's been hit in the head thousands of times, right? That's his whole thing. I didn't hear no bell. Eh. Get out of here. Get out of here, Savage Rocks. Hey, I'm Hobbin here. What is that movie from? The, what's that? I, that's the Sopranos, right? Or something like that? Where he says, I'm walking here. What's that from? I'm drawing a blank for some reason on the movie. Great movie. I watched all the usual suspects again recently. So good. That scene in, in the usual suspects where they're, on the, where they're lined up for the, um, uh, what is it called? They're, they're all there for, uh, for on like a crime scene line, not a crime scene line, like a criminal lineup where they, they like identify the guy and they have to say that line and, there's, and they're all laughing at each other and shit. It's so good. I love that scene. You made it up. Taxi Driver, Midnight Cowboy, Sopranos. What are all these? You know what the movie's called. Stop slipping in fake or oh, taxi driver. Yeah. I need to rewatch that movie. I haven't seen that movie since I was like nine. Same with The Godfather. I watched The Godfather when I was too young to appreciate either of the movies. Showed him. Showed him, Dan. This is going pretty good. I'm nullifying their artillery and moving. Okay, the Ragnarok spiders are coming in. How much armor? No missile resistance, but 130 armor. That does not bode well, but then again, they don't have regen. No weakness to fire, nothing like that. We'll see how this goes. Ah! Ah! No! No! Idiot! Dumbass! What are you doing? Just leave them on fucking. That's why I leave my shit on. Oh god, the Doom Davers are back on. Son of a bitch. Did I even knock them off their things in the first place? Move, 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 go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Got this. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, shit. Uh, hold on. Let me just specifically target the Arachnoroks. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice. They're already doing it. Nice. Okay, well, the Arachnoroks are definitely dead. How powerful can goblin, hobgoblin, I mean regular goblin doomdiver catapult holders be? God, these savage orcs are faster than they should be. 
Die, 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 die. Kill him, kill him. Do more damage. Go, go, go. Fight him, fight him, fight him. Oh my god! Kill him quicker and fuck! There's so many of you and you're all on wolves! How is it that goblins riding wolves are this bad at killing, like, undefended goblins who aren't trained in melee? This should not be this difficult of a, of a, a fight to win. How we doing? Okay, all of our guys are breaking. Um, they're doing a good job of hitting the... Okay, our infantry are getting smoked. And I don't have my, uh, my army abilities or anything. Hey, if we can kill the Arachnorok spiders, I'll consider that a win. Because then we don't have to fight them later on. Are they on the... They're back on the fucking things again?! Eat a huge dick. Oh my god. These Doom Diver catapults, man. More like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, we're overwhelmed. Fuck it. Fuck it. Do we get at least one of them? No, my god. Both of them survived. Are you serious? No. Come on. Fuck. AI smart? They're not smart. They got lucky. God, I didn't even kill one of them. That sucks. Son of a bitch. They only took 162 casualties. I didn't actually manage to route any of their... God damn it. Lord Ogre, they are towering us. I know. It's not going well. Goblin on goblin crime. How the end times have changed everything. I mean... I like Godfather 1, part 1. After that, I sleep. Yeah, a lot of people say it's really boring. Like, when it gets further in. Oh, my beautiful town! At least we're rich, so it won't be too expensive to, like, rebuild it. But if they take that other town, the one that has the, uh, armaments in, I'm actually gonna be super pissed. The spinning loonies got you good, too. I didn't even know they had spinning loonies. Or loons. Loons. Spitty boys. Hey! Hey, That's dumbasses! Die! 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 You idiots! You dumbasses! Hobgoblin supremacy, baby! You stupid fools! Oh, how the ter table. What? This fucking game! Oh my god, I hate this fucking game. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? What was that? What was that? What the fuck? Why did that just happen? Oh my fucking god! The dead will rise? What, this bullshit? Oh, it's not there. Where they, where they, what, they just come back? How the fuck did they all come back? No, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's such bullshit. I am so mad. <laughs> that is bullshit. Now I see what people mean by that sucks ass. If I, so if I didn't, would that have happened if I didn't auto resolve? Like if I'd have actually fought the fight? Would that have still happened? Wow. Oh, it's this. Oh, fuck it, whatever. I'm gonna auto. I'll probably do more damage. Yeah, basically exactly the same as what I did. Oh. Drop NF in the chat, boys. Wait, it didn't drop an F in the chat, but you Rex King with a two dollar dono. Thank you, my dude. The Fs. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fight this fight, I think, because what because what else then? I'm gonna well, okay, you know, I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna try that again. And I wanna see if we get the same outcome. Pyrrhic victory meeting cancels, right? Auto it? They're all dead. Note the complete death, right? 
I'm gonna take replenishment. What are you talking about? What? That is completely fucked. That is totally and completely fucked. What? Dude, that does need changing. Okay, now I see what everybody complains about. That needs to be changed. That is crazy stupid. What is the point in doing battles when the vampire cows can just come back? They're an entire army. Only fully gray units are wiped. Dead units have grayed out cards. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I hate it so much. I Worst mechanic. You have to catch them either in march stance or in the settlement. You have to fight it, I guess. Dude, as if vampire counts weren't strong enough. They have so much utility and so much... So wait, so even if I manually fight this, they're gonna come back anyway, though. That's what people are saying. So if I, if I fumble my way through a, uh, a manual fight, they're gonna do the same thing. Oh my god. So I take a ton of casualties. They bring their entire army back and just fuck me, I guess. That's so bad. That's such an unbelievably bad mechanic. They just completely save. Like, they just don't. They're fine. That's the mechanic. We're, we're like, lol, JK. Oh, we're all dead. Lol, JK. We're fine. I'm going to upgrade this. Pass some labor over. Oh god, we're in a deficit. Um, one more turn, so we got a bunch of fire glaze. We can go down and kill Imric. There's no way we're gonna win that fight in the defense. We have a tr uh, level three garrison. So we're probably gonna lose that village. That's fine. I just mostly want to test out the fire glaze on me at this point. That's honestly the biggest goal that I have right now. Save scum. It is that is a stinky mechanic. For, for, I hate it. Although we got two levels up, so that's something. We can at least buff our guys up a little bit. Drastrom. Replenish troops would be useful right now. Wait, but also I want his 682 weapons strength. There. Oh my god. What's Hello, my be like hobbling right now? my hobbling to thy ghost. <laughs> Dude, I love how it enunciates, enunciates different words completely wrong, but in a very funny way. Thank you. Oh, Doug Dimazan got poison attacks at the very least. That's good. Helmut be gobbling on my hobbling to like gorst. <laughs> Thank you for the $2 dono, Matthew. Man, I don't even know what to do at this point. I don't think he'll run off and attack any of our minor settlements, or at least I hope he doesn't. My guess is he's gonna go over... He's either gonna attack us before we replenish, and at least then we'll have a... Bit of a measly garrison to help bolster his against his forces. He's taking no. a lot of attrition. He's taking attrition because of our chaos corruption, which is great. Because we got wait, uh, yeah, hundred chaos percent chaos corruption, and vampire corruption is still plummeting, which is going to help us out a little bit. Shambletown. Oh boy, oh boy, oh Jesus! I'm just going to build garrison buildings. Oh, that sucks! All of the ass. But once I've got this army build, I need to go over here and start killing the Skaven and shit. Although I fight Imric. Dude, we're getting attacked on too many fronts now. I have so much money, though. Did we just keep recruiting stuff? Can't get good boy back. That sucks. Shouldn't have deleted him. Shouldn't have deleted him. Bad move. Stupid move. Fuck it. We're gonna go south. We're just gonna fight. I'm gonna build my infernal god army. We're gonna go south. We lose this. It's fine. We'll stomach it. So this doesn't give me a garrison, right? Look, level three does like what's the point of a level three garrison building if it doesn't turn the province into a minor settlement, right? Because it's an outpost? If it's a factory, does it get turned into a, a minor settlement? Adds defenses to the settlement. Battles fought here will be unwalled settlement battles. Oh, they have to be factories. Okay. St I'm pretty sure an outpost could be described as a fucking minor settlement. That sucks, balls and ass. Oh god, that sucks so bad, dude. That's not Go good. Left. I dislike that mechanic. Wholeheartedly. What if we global recruit some shit? Like two units of blunderbussies. Yes. I'm probably not going to be able to recruit them, but there you go. 
Uh, wait, can I take my thing back too? Can I take my thing back now? One more turn until I can take that back. Right? Please remind me. And also, I'm going to snipe the Ordinator. Actually, that's way more useful. For all these defenses we're doing, if I had, um... If I had that those mortar strikes, drill quick mortar strikes, they would have actually been doable. Some of those would have been wins. Man, it's crazy how um, the end time events can just totally fuck your campaign completely. I'm not even on 100% difficulty too. I reduced the difficulty down to like 50% and we're still getting our cheeks clapped. No! Oh, you bitch. You stupid pointy nose nerd. Close defeat. I may just take the auto here. They have so many archers. I will have a Dreadquake Mortar though, but they have Imric. I don't think I have a single- God damn, Imric has some stats. Look at his stupid eyes. There's no way. There's no way, right guys? They've got a dragon. We can maybe take it out with the Hobgoblin Archers. Oh, fuck it. Whatever. I want to keep that dragon alive so we can run over and kill it with our, um, our Fireglaive Armory anyway. It'll be a good test for a Fireglaive military, I think. Blue scammy eyes. He's got those Buscemi peepers. CA, please add um, Imric's middle name of Bug Eyes. She's called Imric's full name is actually Imric's Bug, Bug Eyes Buscemi. If you didn't know that. Not a lot of people know that, which is interesting. Wait, spend multiple turns recruiting. Oh, and I just get. Oh! You piece of shit! Oh, I hate him, dude. Oh, I hate him. Oh, my God. Do I just play that fight? You loser ass bitch. Yeah, they're coming for me, dude. One more turns until I can recruit them. More goblins. What else can I recruit then? Three turns, three turns, one turn. Two dwarf warriors, that'll take a turn. Then they can stack with the blunderbusses. That's sort of a good army, kind of. Stack some saber dusk in there, fuck it. That's something, right? That plus a full hobgoblin garrison in an unguarded settlement. All right. I'm honestly way more worried about the gore situation. I don't want Doug Dimazad to die. I this is winnable. They're very deplenished, right? I'll tell you what. We're going to do it. We're going to attack him. If we just sit here, we're going to start suffering way more attrition. We have a little tiny garrison in the Nobly Gorge. Gorg. If I order this, I'm going to lose basically the entire army, and I'm going to have to full mass recruit. Re recruit and I'm, and I'm gonna lose all of these gold tier fellas so we're gonna have to play it fight him we can do this we can do this can mod Imric into Steve please we could try that uh, I feel like Steve Buscemi has too many looks for oh shit Andreas Vandermeer that's a cool name with a 400 czar to czar is that fucking Dawi uh Dowie's our currency? Because it sounds like it. Gabba Gabba I'm just gonna wait for the bot to read this out, dude. That sounds <laughs> I we I want I want the bot to read this out. Wait, what? Can race have shields? 500 barrier. Is that a oh wait, that's a ghost thing. Never mind. Is that a ghost thing or is that just a can rate thing? Yes! Oh, here it comes. Gamma, 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 gamma on your channel. Look, I never stop making videos me watching you. It's only doom stacks and memes. <laughs> oh, thank you, my dude. Thank you for the dono. Um, yeah, no, I'm, dude, I, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. We got some good Chaos Dwarf doom stacks on the horizon for sure. I'm mo I was hoping to be able to build the Fireglaive doom stack in this stream, so. Okay, I think the best strat here is going to be to go to this back corner. It's, it's raised up on a plateau, which we can get good visibility with their, uh, arranged troops. And we got some, uh, blunderbusses and all sorts of shit. Alright. 
General up front. We got Gorduz. Oh, we got some good units still mixed in. We got the Immortals. We got... Oh, wait. I should... What am I doing? What am I doing? Fuck! Ah, uh, that's a big mistake. I could have done a lot of damage to them before they get to me with those guys. Uh, let's mix all... Get all of the range together. Infantry together. Alright. A little bit of an infantry stack. Layer in our less valuable infantry. Range behind. Oh, wait. Ah, Doug Dimazone has a bull mount. Ah, perfect. Uh. Yeah, I don't think we can do much else. Oh, and the bull guys. God damn, this bull is slow at flying. 80 speed for a flying unit is pretty bad. Stinky Okoy, what'd I do? What'd I do? Andreas, but, oh wait, yes. blunderbussies. <laughs> What's wrong with blunderbussies? We need another 100 funny eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you for the dono, Andreas. Oh boy. Oh, actually, you know, I want to keep the boy back. I don't want to get him, him to get nerf, nuked out by these. Okay, we've got the Drakeway battery. That's also going to be helpful. Only got one use, but that's better than nothing. God, these guys are... No, they don't have any missile resistance. Why are they so good at... Why are they taking, like, no damage? 80 armor? Wait, are they chasing us? Oh, he's about to get nuked. Oh, he's doing a breath spell. No, that's not good. Eh, dude, I love that little fire uh, projectile. Hit him, 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 hit him. Good shit, good shit. Are they dodging? Get out of here, they're dodging. Okay, that's good for us. That's huge. That's pretty huge. Nice, nice. The blunderbusters are shooting in. Yeah, that's dead. The target guys is dead. Good stuff. One down. One down, one down, one down. Oh, I got its breath attack off, though. Oh, no. Dude, you are not killing any of my hog bones. My triple gold hobgoblins. No, that's all undead. It's in the tech tree. That's crazy. I was super happy when I found out that um, that uh, barriers were going to be given to units that that you know ostensibly should have barriers in the law and not just siege. Uh, stupid kid rapes. Stupid fucking kid rapes. Oh boy. Okay, that's not great. Are they going for some melee or are they just... How much speed do the terror guys have? S uh, 90. Go, 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 go. Move, 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 move. Surely we're much faster than they are. Yeah, 124 speed and you're telling me that they're catching up to us? I don't think so. That makes no sense. Where are their can race going? <laughs> I've never seen can race flank. Oh, those are wait, are those are can race. No, they they are can race. What the hell? I was like, oh, maybe they're. Uh... Oh, this is not good. All right, turn. Get on them. Uh, grave god. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, where's the Lord at? Corp Scott. Wait, where's the Lord at? Oh, there they are. Helmet. Oh, dude. Helmet is going down. Helmet is going down. Helmet is about to get gore dust. He's about to get backstabbed. Good stuff. Our archers aren't getting completely wiped out. Nice little pocket of infantry there to take care of. 
Gore does go around, get Gorst. Go for Gorst. Go for Gorst, as they say. Alright, wasting the time for a lot of their units. You got them by this on my sheet. Alright, here we go. Damage resistance 20%. Slap a debuff on him, pop all of the buffs. And we'll wrap up him up with a unit of uh, boys, too. That should make Ghost. That we should easily be able to out uh, out trade him in in his uh, range shit. I mean his regen. Come on. I'm sorry if I missed the dono, by the way. Oh, he's dead. Dude, what yeah, good shit. Face camera, did you have plastic surgery? Stop. 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 <laughs> Wait, I'll read these after the, uh, after the fight, I promise. This is a good fight. This is actually a really good fight. And there goes their uh, Vaugeist, and they're dead. Get fucked, Ghost! Get fucked! Ugh! Man, that was satisfying. Decisive victory. Hell yeah. Thank you for the crumbling mechanic. Wait, if they come back again, I'm ending stream. I swear to- I swear to fuck. If we- I- oh my god. If they come back from the dead now, dude, I'm done. I am done. There's no way. They're gonna- I- If they come back, I'm gonna lose my shit. Because how do you kill them if they just keep coming back? No! What are you talking about, man? Bruh. 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 Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Dude, fuck this mechanic, man. Serious, actually, fuck this mechanic. This is so busted. This is completely busted. Now I see what everybody bitches about all the time. This is totally like the worst thing ever. What were they thinking? This puts them like the, it doesn't even matter how good you do against them. All their shits are gonna come back every time. Of course, it's only the low tier stuff that dies free roll. Exactly. Like, if the shitty units were more likely to come back, I wouldn't be complaining. But, all, like, no other faction has this shit. They all just come back. They're like, actually, JK, they're fucking fine. Who thought of this mechanic? This was a terrible idea. What on earth? I didn't understand what people were complaining about. Like, I never encounter it ever. They always die, but this is nuts. Elko, have you ever eaten cereal with a fork? This is what this feels like. This feels like you're trying to eat... Like, with the... With, with those, you know that meme cutlery that got made by that guy? He makes, like, a fork, but the handle is, like, a chain handle with a fork head on the end, so it's just useless. That's what this feels like. Like, I'm trying to eat with that shit. Like, I'm trying to fight a battle, and they, they're just like, nah... What's even the point of winning? Bruh. Is there- Hold on, is there a mod that removes this? <laughs> for, for future reference, is there a mod that gets rid of this ability? Dead Rise Again or some shit it's called, right? Less Dead Rising Again. Yeah, there's a t Dude, there's so many mods that get rid of it. Don't check it out. No, it's fine. It's part of the game, I get it, but god damn, dude. This is the mo this is the worst mechanic that I've encountered in a long time. It invalidates all of your hard work getting a, a hard fought victory. Like it just it's it makes it meaningless. You're fighting like seven armies in one. It's that, it's really counterintuitive. No, I'm not a fan, CA. Delete this from the game. <laughs> Please, just for me. I can't be the only one who dislikes this feature, though, surely. Because that is whack. Wait, are we, okay, I can increase the cap again, but I'm not going to be able to recruit any yet. 
I'm not about to sit there for two turns. Wait, can I global recruit faster than... No, three turns still. Well, okay, well, that did nothing. I'm not about to wait. Wait, uh, maybe I will wait around for two more turns. Really get them capped off? If they attack me like this, I'll still win. myself. 45 melee defense, 33... Wait, do I have buffs for these guys? Yes, there they are. Nice. Okay, well, I have firing drills. I don't need this stuff until they're like triple gold rank. I have We Are Legion. I have the, the unique recruitment building. Even with the... T dude, even with the 25% uh, reduction to armament cost... Oh, shit, I forgot to read the donuts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. Andreas uh, Van der Meer with a f 140 uh, Zor super chat. Win and I'll donate another 140. I mean, I technically won. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even. Yeah, there you go. Lord Maybe, 199. You got him by the Zombussy. Apparently not. He turned around and fucking Donald Trump be in my balls. Just grabbed him with his big, meaty fists. Andreas Van der Meer with it once. The uh, Bussies got plundered and then burned the roses of Bo have returned. No coy is rape. <laughs> I'm losing my flip. I don't know what else rhymes with burn. <laughs> That's the worst dono that I've had today. Thank you. That was <laughs> terrible in the plankton voice. Andreas, anyway, what happened to the monkey face cam? Or did you have plastic surgery? Uh, some somebody made a um, somebody made an astrogoth one for the last stream. See, I like him. I don't think it's worth having a Drizoth one. Any anybody in even vague uh. Like, anybody even vaguely near any Vampire Camp sections, I don't want to fight anymore. Eric Zan with a five year old dono. Oh my god. The Bussies got blundered. <laughs> Dude, the 19 blunder bosses are going to name themselves. That's going to be the easiest, like, video I've ever had naming units. Man, what do we do? Do I chase. Okay, do I chase him down? I feel like if I chase him down, it's, it's going to be like. Yeah, Pyrrhic. So I lose all my guys again! I, I'm telling you right now, legitimately, if they, if I fight them right now and they come back again, I'm going to go, like, my brain may just melt out of my ear. Like, I, the, I don't think I can handle them coming back again. I think that would be the stupidest, most ridiculous bullshit. They won't? I'll think, fuck. Okay, real voice when? Uh, what do you mean? This is my real voice. What if I, I came on once and I just I just suddenly had like a very very strong like Bosnian accent or something like just an accent nobody like this is my real accent. It was a Pesoda the whole time. Stop telling him they won't. It might bug out though again. This may be bug for all I know. I've never known Vampire Counts to come back like this. I'm gonna be so mad if I lose even and even one of my my boys, my ranged boys. I may hate out leaving Tomer or must spend some last bit time with him. <laughs> what? What was that? Andreas Vandenberg with a 70s R dono. Thanks for all the donos, by the way, guys. Uh, all right, I'ma head out. Good fight. Leaving tomorrow. I'ma spend some. Go oh, girlfriend. Oh, not good fight. <laughs> Girlfriend, not good fight. Uh, I'm gonna head out. Girlfriend leaving tomorrow. I'm gonna spend some uh, some last bit of time with him. I have a girlfriend, and it uh, and it, it it immediately occurred to me that it was good fight and not girlfriend. <laughs> so stupid. That's real gamer brain. All right, I don't. That's fine, right? Oh, this better be the end of Gore. So I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit with rage. I will rage shit. Actually, I'm gonna focus their can riffs. I don't call it, trolling you a little. 
do the uh, save test because previously you did well counting with wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to wipe out the cater race with these guys. Because flame uh, bypasses ethereal, right? Flame damage? Or is that just magic damage? Nope. Uh, is that just uh, ethereal then? I mean, is that just magic damage, yeah? Sure it does? No? Just magic damage, yeah, okay. I figured. I guess. Whatever. Right, I'm gonna focus down their cannon race. Screw it. The sooner they're gone, the better. They're almost dead anyway. And they should be crumbling. There we go. Get away from me with your bug ice! Nope! Wait, 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 wait. Shit. Nice! Well, Vargas' guard golf is dead. Ah! Ah! Gotta stop doing that! Gotta stop doing that! Stupid, 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 stupid! Nice, nice, nice. Nice! They're trying to melee my guy like idiots. That would be the death of you! Wait, where's Ghost? Ah, go for Ghost again. Go for Ghost. Do what we did last time. We nuked him so good. It was so good. It was so hot. Go, 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 go. Ghost him! He said it's Ghost in time. As he ghosted in his mouth. And... No, I'm gonna wait until he's in combat first. Buff thing there. Debuff him. Bruh, that damage is awesome. And nuke him down. Look at the damage he's taking. That's so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Oh, perfect opportunity to nuke the shit out of Gordos. Well, technically out of these great weapons. Someone do not Gordos like is barely gonna take any damage movie. from that. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. Let's get Gordos out of there. The back of their shit, they're gonna crumble, hit them. Their Vargeist is dead, Vargeist are dead, Vargolf is dead, and the rest of their shit's crumbling. Nice. Oh, outplayed. Good stuff. Brenda Bentley with the two dollars only. How you liking the Hobgoblin Oak? Okay. They are very good. I played with them extensively last stream. They were phenomenal, and they continue to be one of my favorite armies for these guys. Ironically, for an army full of extremely strong Chaos Dwarf units. Some of my favorites are Little Green Man. I'm gonna laugh if it bugs out and he comes back again. Dude, I'm... Mm, don't, don't even say it. Oh! Oh! The feeling! Dude, the, the, the relief, the satisfaction that I feel right now. Oh! Oh, I was ready on the... Uh, I was ready on the fucking technical difficulties screen. Oh. Ah, oh, God, man, that 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 is that is a relief. I will say that's a huge relief. Recruit rank for Centaurs, catch replenish rate, unit uh, bigger loss reduction for everybody. Uh, perfect vigor and unbreakable sounds pretty amazing. Oh no no never mind. What am I talking about? Lucky lackeys, dude. What am I talking about? All right, we're gonna replenish for the majority, and then we're good. All right, well, Ghost should be easy to take care of. At the very least, we don't have to worry about that. We can just focus on Imre. Two turns, we get the rest of our guard. Gotta wait a bunch of turns for that bullshit. These guys will uh, build themselves up for the next turn, and then we should maybe be able to hold off that that area. Okoy just creamed his jorts on stream. How do you know I'm wearing jorts? <laughs> nah. I'm not wearing pants. I never wear pants when I stream. No, I'm kidding. I'm wearing sweatpants. I don't want to be. I don't want to be canceled, dude. Hobgoblin these nuts. I'm actually cosplaying as a hobgoblin right now. Ooh, military alliance. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do, Greasy. Hey, he recruited a guy finally. Imric has like 70% flame resist. Seriously, because of his dragon shit. 
We can hear the jorts. I'm not sure if I've ever worn jorts in my life. I don't like jeans. I feel like they're too tight. Like that jean material. I wear other stuff. I wish CA would add Hot Goblin Incarnate as an actual playable race. Hey, never say never, man. They could release them as a, uh, a delayed He's fourth legendary lord. It wouldn't be too hard to flush them out into like a minor faction. Dagoon, or, or you know, Dagoon. less of a minor faction. You know, if they reworked a couple, like mods can do it super Dagoon easily. Dagoon. And, and I guarantee we're going to see a mod that adds in a Hot Goblin Incarnate faction with a bunch of like modded in units and like Habu Abakan himself. It's gonna happen. Like it has to happen. Ooh, what is this? Raw materials consumed per building 5%. Uh, that's pretty okay. Hero recruit rank. Garrison would be nice. Mr. Garrison. Uh. I'm actually going to rebuild the goblin building. Actually, you know what? We're selling a surplus of 46,000 gold, I just realized. Maybe we can spread that around to do some shit. What do you do with 46,000 gold other than, like, build crap up? It's mostly factories now. I need resources more than I need gold. Too many for- oh, there we go. That's something. Right. Anyway, I see that Okoi is still goblin all day. Yeah. Wait, did I miss a dono? Ran a Bentley with a $2 dono hub hobgoblin these nuts. Oh. Oh my god. It was a setup the whole time. I didn't even I didn't even hear it. Ah, oh, the disrespect. Oh my god. If this does... I, you know what? I don't even care if this army does the same thing, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to auto-resolve it. Oh, he ran away. That's a good sign. Oh my god, I can't reach him now. Eat my fucking balls! Oh wait, there's not- Okay, there's- There's only four Vampiric Corruption, so we're not taking attrition anymore. Karak is all destroyed, Karak non destroyed. Die! Hey, dude, I'm happy he actually recruited some more shit. Good to see the greasy boy building up and being able to defend his own crap. Alright, one more turn and then we'll go kill Imrik. Imrik, so he has what? How much fire resistance? 25% fire resistance. But then what about his items? Uh, flammable flaming attacks. This apparently, oh, it imbues him with, with flammable. His attacks, he does flaming attacks and also reduces our reduction, our damage restriction to flaming attacks. I mean, his whole fire thing is not going to be that effective. Yeah, he inflicts flammable and also, but he doesn't do fire attacks. I feel like Imric should just do fire attacks. It would be very, you know, Dragon King of him. Sun Dragons, uh, they don't have any fire resistance, seriously? They're fucking dragons. Dragon Princes have 25% fire, yeah, it's not 75%, it's 25% apparently. I'm really surprised Okoi hasn't gone towards the War Machines at all yet. Uh, I got some of them in the last thingy. But yeah, for the most part I've been sleeping on them, just a little bit. Oh, I can't recruit these? I hate how it doesn't show the timer unless you delete your units. Yeah, three turns. Stupid. Stupid. Uh, we can afford it, so I'm just gonna fucking fully commit. Wait, why can't I recruit? Oh, they. Oh man. Infernal Iron Swan, Infernal God. Oh, Infernal Iron Iron Swan are the ones with the flaming masks. I always forget they're different. I always, always forget that they're different. Classic Okoi moment. Immune to setup cause he's so oblivious to the people who support him. Like how Krabs goes and I'm reeling after that Krussy. <laughs> Friend. Why does it say Krussy so well? Who programmed this thing? Friend with a $5 dono. Immune to setups cause he's so oblivious to the people who support it. How dare you? I'm not oblivious. Uh, did the dono actually go off or did I just did it, I miss it completely? Dude, if they keep stealing my shit, I swear to fuck. That political the whole political backstabby thrones thing is I I don't mind it, but the AI seems to get an unbelievable amount of conclave influence despite not having much land in a lot of cases. I feel like they they just get they get that shit doled out to them on on mass. 
All right, I don't think we can do anything for much. Time. We've almost the infernal god enough. is almost upon us. Strange that fire dragon have no fire resistance. Yeah, yeah, they're literally called sun dragons. I mean, if there's ever a unit that's that deserves fire resistance, well, actually, I guess the uh, Kadai Fireborn. V what? What? A valiant defeat? What? Are odds really that bad? No way. No fucking way our odds are that bad. I refuse to believe. Like, yeah, they've got some Doom Divers and shit like that. I can send my the Saber back around. I don't again, agree with that. We've got so many... I mean, a lot of our guys are laborers. But... That's a lot of bodies to keep their key units back while they get shot up. Like, we almost killed both of the Arachnarok Spiders last time. I don't will agree with that one this time, Chief. I don't know about that one. Oh, yeah, we can hide in this little... No, no, nice. Nice! Alright. Uh, oh god, there's so much to sort out. Um, alright, I'm gonna put all the laborers in... Three. I hate the AI games. I lost to you shy wolves in Mario Party because you got like for fucking welfare stars in the post game. <laughs> Betsy Brog became a member for 15 months. Oh, that shit, it actually read out your message when you became a member. That's nuts. It, it usually fucks it up. I hate the AI games. I lost to Yoshi once in Mario Party because he got like four fucking welfare stars in post game. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. I've never played Mario Party. I know I've seen people play it a lot. I've watched a lot of Wubby playing it with his crew, but I've uh, I've never played it. I can't. I'm, I'm assuming I'm not the only one, so I'm not about to get. What? You've never played it? You haven't lived. Oh, I miss the ogres so much. All right. Do we have a... No, we don't have a flying mount, but that's fine. Wait. Alright, we should be able to... I'm hoping. Alright, good thoughts. Think happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. They don't have anything that... This is a little dense pocket of trees, so this should do very well for us for blocking their... Um, uh, their artillery shots. It really, really should. Uh, keep the dwarf infantry up front. Add the lines. Put our gunners behind. I'm actually gonna put the... Dwarf guys on the right here. Infantry out like that. They should have line of sight. Yeah, there's a little bit of a mound. What's not moving? Oh, fuck. We have like thousands of laborers. You know what? I'm just gonna put some of the laborers out front. Just to hold them back while we like... The fuck is this? What is that? Just a whole mess of gobble laborers just spread around. Had the lines. Uh, who's not moving? Who? What is this? What are these units? No. 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 What? Er, what? I don't even... Whatever. Okay, that's fine. They look like ants from up here. Man, those are some scary fucking ants. Okay, we gotta get to their artillery. Like, that's number one priority. Oh, boy! Those are... Mm, forest Goblin Spider Riders. Okay, they will beat our guys in melee combat, so... But, I think they will lose to Saber Tusks. Get them, boys! Get them, Saber Tusks! I'm always so underwhelmed by Saber Tusks. I know they're just like the equivalent of cat infantry or whatever, like dog infantry, for most factions, but... I think they should do a little better. I think they should have Frenzy, for a start. They have Out of Control, I think Frenzy makes a lot of sense for them. It, it would be such a, a light little thing they could give them to make them like 10 times better. Ooh, yeah, well, they're definitely dead. God damn it. Yeah, see, see what I mean? Like, they're just not that good. And they're not cheap, too. Make Sabertusk pack great again. 
Oh, never mind. They were getting attacked by triple silver rank uh, Savage Oak Biggins. I take it back. Hey, what is this unit? Oh, oh, there was two on the... Oh, God damn it. The fuck out of here. Ooh, could I? Mm, I only get one use. I'm gonna save it. Can they see all my shit? Or are we all hidden? Oh, my saber tusk came back. That's good. Coward. What, made me? How am I a coward? Hmm. I think the greenskins are being cowards. Get out of here with your flappers. No! No, why are they prioritizing attacking the saber pack? Uh, it's pets. Are they really meleeing me with goblin on warfighter archers? No fucking way. What? Wow, they're flexing on me. They're attacking me with warfighter archers. Get <laughs> fuck off, greenskins. Wow, yeah, saber tusk pets definitely need a buff, in my opinion. I tried the Doomstack out with them as well, and they were fine. Even with all of the buffs that you can get with a Hunter, they were just so okay. They were like, eh. No, they can definitely see our units. I don't know what they're doing. Oh shit, we're getting shot. Uh. Eat shit. Eat shit, flappers. I think uh they should be weak to fire damage. Anything made of wood. What, son? Chariots in general should be weak to fire damage in my opinion. But then again, we're watching Oka, which makes us all virgins. What do you mean? You can watch me and also fuck. They're not mutually exclusive, okay? What the fuck are they doing? Why are they just camping? Because of the artillery, maybe? Did they attack me? Yeah, this is a fucking siege defense! Why are the AI being so cowardly? Oh wait, are they complete- What? Where are their doom divers? Oh, they're here, but it says that they're there. Okay. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Sneak 100. Okay, why is your chat so toxic sometimes? Are they being toxic? I thought they were being chill. I think everybody's chat's toxic sometimes, though. There's not a chat in the world that doesn't have a couple of people in it that want to stir some shit up. That just does not exist. I don't care how wholesome a chat is. You bring up a specific, any one topic, not everybody agrees with that topic, no matter how uncontroversial it might be. Some guy always has a bad take. Oh boy. Oh boy. You guys have obviously not been in Legends chat. Those guys give him such a hard time. Why 
Ronald Dump. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here with these stupid flappers. Yes! I like it! I don't I know. Oh. I don't think oh, I knows the shakes. <laughs> what? I don't know. I doubt the Okoi knows the shakes. Hey, my Kazoo, personal Kazoo, life is none of your business. Oh my god. This is an annoying ass fight. I don't know why the air playing fucking chicken. Is it because they have artillery? Again? They're just sat there with their artillery going back and forth. Oh my god, flappers are coming. Get out of here, flappers! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're basically dead. They're basically dead. They're basically dead. They're basically dead. Right. Whatever, fight him. Come on, there's no way they can survive that. Even if these guys suck in melee combat. Get beamed, get beamed, get beamed, get beamed. Whatever, they're shattered. Oh! Dude, if they pushed me, this fight would have been like... At least well underway by now. Ugh. This passive AI shit is not fun. Light him up. Oh my god, you know what? Fuck it. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Get the- No! How the fuck have they caught it? Oh, they caught a couple. Okay. Oh, this fight sucks, dude. I hate it when the eye don't push. Oh, fucking finally! Yes! It only took you 17 hours. Time for real toxic. Chat is stungy poo poo. <laughs> fuck. Oh shit, okay, I gotta stop focusing on this now. This is big. They're coming in. Alright, hit the Arachnoc Spider. We got two units of Blunderbussies. They should be able to take it out nice and uh, quickly. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Really, I need to pull them back through the trees a little bit. Good shit, just fo focus down the Rock Lovers. Nice. Doom Divers are almost dead. God, they're really not doing as much damage as I was hoping to that thing. They're not obstructed. They're, they've got direct line of sight. I'm gonna wait until the rest of them come in. Uh, where is he? Okay. We can put a bomb down on here before these go uh, goblin guys break. Waiting for these black hawks to come in and then we'll bomb bottom them all. I don't care if these guys route now. I took out the majority. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna save him if I can. Okay, bombardment came in. Good shit. Shatters he piss across They're really taking their goddamn time killing this Ragnarok spider. Like wow. No, my gunners are obstructed. By fucking what? Oh the I bet it's the ogres. I bet it's the ogres. I will I'm willing to bet a good amount of money it's the fucking ogres. Yep, it was the ogres. God damn it. And now it's dead. Fuck me, dude. I, I love ogres, but god, they get in the way sometimes. Big lovable oafs. Nice, it's dead. And go for the other Ragnarok spider now. 
All right, infantry doing their job. They're holding it back. I tell you what, I'll time this as well. Thing on the Arachnorog. Where are you going? Uh, okay. Alright. Gonna do the bombing down. Alright, hit the Arachnorog. Okay, we got this. We've, surely we've got this. If we've got too much, like, elite infantry mixed in, or, like, decent infantry. Get fucked, Arachnorog! What is obstructing us? Come on, man! This is why gunners are rough some- Ow, oh, really? Fucking Doom Divers, dude. Come on, there shouldn't be anything right. Ooh, okay, the reason. Where are you going? Where are you going? a fierce predator with a knife and fork. Oh no. What are you doing? Why did you just stop randomly? Okay, a lot of infantry are breaking out. That's not good. Okay, I think they broke a lot of our infantry with those, um... Crap, what are they called? I think their infantry might be a little bit too elite. These runner buses are doing a terrible fucking job. They're always obstructed. Just they're always permanently obstructed. It's fucking there! That's so toxic of playing those the donations. Hold on. I will check. Alright, we won. Oh! Eat my balls, man! Alright, we gotta kill as many of these guys as possible. Where are my ogres? Ogres are great for- and they're all broken. Okay, um... Um, oh, you are not escaping. No fucking way. That, no Goddamn no way. I'm letting that thing escape Hell no Hell how fast are they 51 speed that's slow enough That's slow enough just inconvenience it a little bit come on range No how much else has it got? 277! Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked! Come on, we can get that with a single volley. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, don't get stuck, don't get stuck! How much else has it got? 184! Go, 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 go! Come on, get the spider! All you gotta do is get the spider. Can I do anything? What if I cast a thing on it? Oh, it's got 30. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Good. Come on, little goblins, smack him! 38 health, come on. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. Oh, all right, I missed loads of donuts. Let me go back. Uh, Lord, maybe with a one, wait. Oh my God, I missed a lot of these. I don't know, I didn't, okay. Lord, maybe with a 199 dono. Chatters eat pizza crust side first. Dude, do you, all you gotta do to eat pizza is like do that little foldy th trick and then you eat it by the pizza side. I always eat the crust though. People that don't eat the crust are little babies. The crust is amazing, especially on good pizza. The crust is like the best bit. Mr. Okoy, thank you for the funny videos. You are very welcome, Chaos Chosen Chase. I got another one coming out on like the 12th or 13th. They would have been out like two days ago, or three days ago now, but yeah, bit of a, a bit of a fuck up on my part. Nice. The fact that we won, huge, huge. And also, they're not gonna come back from the fucking dead! Chat's so toxic, ignores, uh, Oko ignores the donations. I wasn't ignoring, I was in the middle of a fight. That's different. Nope, I am not getting a defensive alliance with that guy. I learned my lesson last time. Thank you for the donor though, Brandon. Are people raiding fruit in the chat? What is happening? I saw blueberries and shit. Wait, maybe I can push down that guy. 
Thaumancia Nunku. Uh, do we win that fight in the auto resolve? God damn, they got a lot of replenishment. Grunaz una gorma nunku. Abdernu grutasha nunku. Actually, you know what? It's not worth interrupting the recruitment time for these units. Oh, okay. I think it's time to go and kill Imric. I think it's finally time. And also, it's time to kill stupid Gorst again. If this gives me a bad auto... Yeah, there we go. Oh, you can't come back because it's a siege. And you're dead. Do I make this an outpost? I'm kind of tempted to just raise it. Because I kind of yes. don't want it. No. Wait, no, I meant to make that a tower. Fuck. Chat so toxic, they eat huddle by feeling like abandoning it. So Stop calling chat toxic. toxic. You're going to bring the toxic nature out of like people. people. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everybody's big dice. Um... Replenishment rate. Thrash Dalman Cesaras! Enjoy. Alright. And Ghost is done. He's done, so. Goodbye, Ghost. I will not miss you. Not even a little bit. It's what I want. Alright, we got a good fight ahead of us. You know what? I thought this was gonna go bad. It actually can we kinda held it together, right? We still got all the big old threat from Scott Snake up here, but uh he's he hasn't actually expanded all that much and the dwarves are killing it, so maybe the dwarves will kill him. I'm pretty sure they're at war with him. But also they're at war with me, but they're at war with him, so that's you know, good. Kinda. Alright, here we go. 17 out of 20 is basically a 20-20 stack. We can just, like, slap a couple extras in here and whatnot. 39 shots. I just realized. Close victory. Dude, these guys crush it in the auto-resolve already. Oh, wait. Hobgoblin standard. Hold on. I need to give that to the other guy. I forgot. Where are you at? Hobgoblin scout? Where's Hobgoblin's no, standard? Oh, what? Why? Okay, weird. Ump, uh, but we Oko okay fans, we has no brand. What is happening? Y'all are good. Y'all are brainy. Where are we going with Doug Dimazan now? I feel like I don't need him here. The only place that he would be valuable would be like way over here. And that's so far away. Ah well. We've mostly done everything now. I just want to try out the Infernal God and then I'll probably be the end of the stream. Like we'll do a couple of battles with him. Level him up a bit. See how good they are. Alright. I guess... Oh, eight armor piercing... Uh... Ooh. Nice. Alright, this should be solid. The best... I think my favorite thing about Inferno God Fireglaives is that they are very good in melee. They're probably the best melee range troops I've ever seen. Y'all are literally discussing fruit in chat. When is this the become the fruit discussion app? Why the fuck do they have a settlement battle? What the fuck? How? Do, okay, a hundred. The chaos. Oh yeah, because it's based on outposts and factories and shit. Oh, I hate that so much. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I guess it like it makes sense. You can't hate it in a way. What's our missile resist with these guys? We don't have missile resist. Okay, but we have 100 armor. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be cool. It'll be fine. All right. Maybe just we go up in column. 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 They'll fire in column formation. 
Keep your astrogoth overhead. Dude, they look so good. They actually look so good. These weapons are insane. Like, they're like Kislevite Strelsi on meth. So cool. They make the dwarves look like such little bitches. <laughs> they're so much cooler. It's not even close. Like, they're edgier, yeah, but they're way cooler. It ain't even comparable. Oof. Oh, Imric's on a dragon, too. Oh, that's gonna be so good for us. Wait, did Armor of Kalidor, 1.60% healing per second? That is nuts. Are you kidding me with that? What's shooting me right now? Is that a tower? Is that artillery? Oh, it's towers. Ooh, I'm a little bit worried about their archers doing a lot of damage to us because we don't have a great amount of I only like one friend and its name is Okoi <laughs> You douche I'm gonna just to take out some of their archers I think Oh yeah see we're getting a shot to shit Oh boy run Stop doing weird animations and run Oh man, a minor settlement battle is probably the worst environment to try these guys out in. For real. Are they shooting? Fire! Guys, come on! What are you doing? Okay. God damn it! Also, I love that chat so non toxic we debate free. Oh my god, stop talking about toxicity, dude. Alright, thank you for the dono, though. The only fruit I <laughs> Why are the donos used to roast me with such blatant consistency? It is pretty funny. Breath attack on the range. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be very good. Right here. Do the big fire vomit, go! What the fuck was that? Do the fire vomit! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Bruh! What the fuck? Why is that happening? Wow! Alright, well, I'm just gonna put him on the ground. This is. He just keeps getting staggered. He has, like, no resistance. Oh my god, yes, hit Emmerich. Oh my god, shoot Emmerich. That's gonna be amazing. Shoot Emmerich. Shoot Emmerich. Turn, shoot Emmerich. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Oh my god, please shoot Emmerich. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 Fuck, man. Okay, the long columns don't work because they're overlapping and shit. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, dude, come on. Yeah, look at that damage, boy. Ooh. Now hit him, Rick. Get into the combat. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, dude. Oh. Oh, that is so satisfying, though. <laughs> it's hard to hit, but when they hit, man, do they hit. Ooh, well, there's Imre gone. And there's the fight. <laughs> Arian Reaver's definitely gone. I'm after just putting him on the ground. He's such a liability in the sky. Okay, Gunners not being able to shoot over stuff is a big old L for this fight. Oh my god. Also, the fact that these guys have 26 speed is very undermining. Like, by the time I get there, they're gonna be... Okay, I'm gonna wait for the shield to redeploy, and I'm gonna fly them over and start taking out, like... Are they just... Are they, like, bug? It says that they're obstructed right now. Weird. 
All right, any more things we can use a motor on? God, they're all so spread out. All right, we're gonna have to dive in. Slap a bombard down somewhere. Move in, move in, move in. Fuck it, move in. We gotta go in. Oof, yeah, those bombardments are very satisfying. Okay, we're slowly taking out all the archers, that's fine. Who brought up pizza rolls in chat? What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Look at their dead ass. Two dragons down. Dude, I love that spell. It looks so good. It makes you lag like crap. Like, look how choppy my FPS is, but it looks amazing. The sound effects, too, are beautiful. Maybe this was not the best point to attack from, too. Any point would have had rough, like, issues with visibility, though. Come on, Drozoeth. Dude, I'm tempted to, like, back out and fucking auto this. Like, archers are such a counter to these guys, because they're so slow. 26 speed. Is there nothing you can get to increase their speed, maybe? Fuck it. Ooh. Damn, that animation is nice. Stalk them! Alright, they get any more archers? Uh... Oh! Okay, I... Mm, I'll risk it. If this is gonna hit the bridge and do nothing, I guarantee. Come on, please, please, please. You yeah, no, 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 yes! Yes, a little bit, kinda. God, I feel like Drizoa is just carrying this fight. <laughs> it's almost like Minus Soma suck. It just, the way that the AI defends them is so efficient and better than their normal AI. I don't mind minor settlements. I just don't like that. Okay, another thing that I hate is when archers can fire over shit with just perfect accuracy. I think if they don't have direct line of sight, they should get a negative like 80% uh, accuracy or something. Because you don't, if you don't have direct line of sight, just like gunners do, they should have a, an accuracy debuff. Like they don't, like gunners can't even get line of sight, right? It's like when in, in Shogun 2, you could win sieges by positioning archers outside the little castles, shooting over into the castles and just shooting all of their infantry. Like, you don't even have to get your dudes into, into melee to win. You just sit them back. Archer samurai were just like the best unit. Walk our boy should be able to default it should be the default accuracy. Yeah, I don't know it would it would also take away uh, from range units being so overwhelmingly strong. You know what I mean? They're so strong Get in the air, you know what I mean like everybody that does campaigns if they're doing for like a meta thing It's it's better to recruit Masses upon masses of cheap range units than it is to recruit any melee infantry at all. I think that they should change that. Like, the accuracy should be reduced massively when they don't have line of sight. That is definitely something you can program in, right? I don't know, you just need some rolls, some pizza rolls. <laughs> oh my god, shut off. <laughs> oh boy. 
Yeah, the speed is a real issue with these guys. Oh, dude, I don't have the- I literally- Okay, I don't have the patience to do the whole battle. I don't- I just don't. Okay, we saw the effect in this. I'm just gonna load an auto. That, oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's gonna take- that's gonna be like 45 minutes of just grinding through that fight. Like, oh my god, no way. Fuck that. Like, the lack of line of sight, that fuck- I don't have the patience. We we had that auto down with like no casualties. I'll just do the auto. I just wanted to see how much damage they did. The chef's Italian ravioli isn't bad. Stop discussing food and jet. It's weird. It's strange and weird. All right. So, but yeah, next stream. Um, I think with this, I'm either gonna build up the hobgoblin dude stack. From the save file or the fucking uh uh fire glaives doomstack out of the save file but they're gonna be absolutely yoked but watch oh man i took like some casualties i guess I don't call my favorite cheese i have liked oh. in support the formation of totally no cult Ooh. Okay, this would have been very fucking useful before. Because I could have recruited any of these regiments of renowned units and they would have completely carried a fight. Like, like, oh no, we're in trouble. Bam. Now we have a demon tongue and a dreadquake mortar in this army and it's now basically, like, we'll win every fight. <laughs> like, all we had to do was one fight the whole time. And now we're good. Man, that really cuts into your no. income per turn, though. Holy shit. Also, the Ice Force Legion will be a great addition to this army, which is a crazy OP unit, by the way. Favorite cheese? Uh, I like a good fresh mozzarella. Like a good quality-ass mozzarella. Um, I'm not a huge cold cheese guy. I prefer melted cheese. Like cheese melted on top of stuff, you know what I mean? I'm not a big cold cheese guy. Like a good ass charred mozzarella on, on some like pizza or something. And that's my favorite kind of cheese. Gouda is god tier. Yeah, it right. It's pretty Gouda. All right, that's the end of the stream, guys. <laughs> I, just, I just end. On the worst cheese pun of all time. Mm. All right. I don't think there's much more we can do with this campaign. I think it would just be fighting, showing the units that we already know at this point. Plus, I want to leave a little bit, you know, in the back pocket. If I can make this army work, it'll end up in a video. If I can't and it sucks, Wiener, I will swap them out with the. Chaos Dwarves, I, with the Blunderbusses, because I think the Blunderbusses are much faster running? 28 speed, so they got like, what? Three more speed. But also they do more damage, which is hilarious considering it's a tier three versus tier two. But they are better in melee. And better at, anti at bonuses versus large. They're supposed to have satchels, they're supposed to- Wait, how do you get the throwing satchels? Hold on. Don't they have- Oh, wait. No, the infernal, the infernal, the infernal god guys. Yeah, the infernal iron sworn are the ones with the satchels. Yeah, okay. The the fire glaives don't have satchels. But what about the mortar doomstack at Okoi? Well, keep your eye out on the twelfth and or thirteenth. Maybe even while you're watching some uh big live stream, and uh, it might pop up somewhere. I had a cheese joke, but decided to stop. It wasn't very good, <laughs> but I couldn't come up with anything, Shadow. I'm a monster, I know. You're a fed of up. <laughs> oh my god. All right. All right, okay. I, I don't think I can push this campaign anymore of a conclusion. All right, I'll probably be playing Zatan tomorrow. 
Zaton the Black, and we'll be building a big Choo Choo Doomstick, probably. I haven't played him since... for a, in a while. He's had like a lot of rework since I've played him, so... I don't really know what to expect with this campaign. I played it the least. I really have played it the absolute least. So it could be a total shit show, but we're gonna have a hell of a lot of tanks, a hell of a lot of uh, skull crackers and other fun shit. But yeah, very fun stream, guys. Uh, obviously, had a blast. Fireglaze were kind of underwhelming, but also that was probably the worst environment for them. So, but yeah, Hobgoblin Doomstack has been amazing. We rescued the boy Greasus. He's back up there on his throne, doing better than ever. I think we, I think I did everything I wanted to do this stream, so that's good. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next stream. Um, yeah, if you're interested in playing Bannerlord on uh, the Persistent Empires mod, hit me up in the Discord on the uh, with the the Bannerlord role to get involved with that. Uh, I'll be doing that a lot after the Cast Wars release, probably. So I'll be, I'll be doing some streams on that stuff as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Can't wait for you guys to get access to this DLC so you can start diving in. I'm probably going to enter some tournaments as well. Uh, but then I'm probably going to bring the... Uh, I'm gonna probably going to go rep the Ogres still, though. So I'm probably not even going to be playing the Chaos Dwarves. But we'll be fighting a lot of Chaos Dwarves. And maybe I'll win some. Who knows? But yeah, had a lot of fun. I'll see you guys on the next stream.